Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to yet another Concordia Esports Valorant stream. I will be your host, Sam Belke, and joining me is your new co-caster, Will Chamberlain. Welcome, Will. Nice to meet you. Yeah, it's good to be here. Um, Will is joining us because our normal caster, Simeon, is actually a sub on the Valorant roster this year, as I believe we've mentioned in a couple of streams. And, surprisingly enough, he is actually playing tonight, so we will get to see him in action. Uh, we'll be able to see your caster play it'll be a great time really excited as uw valorant kicks off their regular season of the necc league so that will be tonight's stream we're going to be getting started very shortly here it looks like we've got about 10 minutes till game time so we'll get you right into the game as soon as that happens in the meantime we'd like to discuss a little bit about the upcoming season where placements happened as you all know uh the Placement games and placement matches, activation happened over the past couple of weeks, and so for the past four matches, CUW has been waiting eagerly to find out where they're going to place, and today we actually know. So, Will, would you like to remind everyone, what division are we in? We're in NECC. <laughs> yes, no, that is correct. <laughs> yeah, so the Valorant uh, NECC division for this year will be, I believe, champions, and they will be in the Midwest B stage. Um, so the NECC is our league, the champion, the division is champions, which means we are actually in, as far as I know, one of the top divisions in the league, um, and we will be in the Midwest B, uh, section, obviously, Midwest B means we're facing a bunch of teams from the area. In particular tonight, we will be facing Ilni Blue, which is from the University, uh, University of Illinois? Not exactly sure what university they're from, actually. Uh, <laughs> Ilni is a particularly confusing name, um, but they're, one of their teams will be facing us in tonight's first match. Obviously, since activation just happened, we don't really have a fantastic idea of where either of these teams stand, so it'll be interesting to see how they stack up. Now, Will and I were talking a little bit before the stream. Uh, could you remind me, Will, exactly what are the ranks of all these players? I mean, just average between the, the teams. So a general average is for the, our team is generally in an ascendant average, sure. while the enemy team is more of a um, radiant average. So they have a general higher average than us, but that's not going to matter because we have Bart. <laughs> yes. <laughs> One of our star players on the CUW team, and we were sure he's going to perform like once again. <laughs> yeah. So uh, speaking of Bart, actually, um, as we were finding out through activation, Bart is going to be the star. I, I think we kind of expected it. Um, but as you were mentioning also, the other team is an Immortal Average. Um, they are able to take on usually the, the second tier right below Radiant. Um, they're pushing into that top tier of Valorant competition uh, across the nation, across the world really. But they're also facing a team that has one of the top, I believe, top 200 players at this point. I'm not exactly sure where Bart landed over the past week, um, but he is up there in Radiant and his peak is... Uh, near the top 100. So, <laughs> even though our team average is... Uh, a little uh, bit without lower. Him, with, yeah, without him, it's in Ascendant. With him, we are definitely uh, <laughs> averaging equal to these teams. And I think it's also important to note, like, rank isn't everything in Valorant, <laughs> as we've seen regularly yeah. throughout our CUW careers. Uh, <laughs> the so, CUW Valorant team takes on high-ranked teams. Yeah, so, it's all about how well we work together. Exactly. And who and, gets the win. Yeah, and, and CW Valorant has proven they're able to work together uh, quite well. So that will be what we're facing tonight. 
I did want to go back and talk about Bard a little bit. Uh, as activation happened, we saw some fantastic plays. I wasn't on the stream last week, but the week before that, we had a highlight that uh, I think we'd like to play. Will, would you like to give us a little bit of a teaser? What exactly this highlight is about? So to let's just say Bart decided he didn't really need a team in this highlight, and uh, the enemy team, they no longer existed after the highlight. <laughs> That's just a quick uh, little teaser about it. That is about right. So <laughs> we're going to dive into the highlight here, and I'm going to let, uh, I believe, Simonize voices speak for themselves. Oh, he did take some damage there, but got the heal from the sky. Really, the one thing that CW is missing out on quite often is that heal, the ability to use it. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can understand why, but at the same time, it's a little bit sad. Swing? No, he's gonna boost left. back. He's he is gonna dry swing, and he's gonna get two. He's, he's gonna, gonna get, get three. three. He's got the ace. Let's go! Let's oh my gosh! Spam through the smoke to get the last two who lined up. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, that is. That is about that, what Bart can do. <laughs> yeah. That is an average Bart play right there. <laughs> yeah. So, in case you didn't know, Ace is when a single player takes out the entire living team, uh, which isn't a particularly common thing to happen, as you might imagine. Uh, 1v5, you know, not great odds for the one. Uh, and, you know, granted, Bart had teammates alive, so he's able to play a little bit more confidently. But... Uh, <laughs> It was, I think, one of the most impressive plays I've seen in a long time, and a good way to kick off the season for sure. Um, got us, <laughs> got us off on the right foot. Bart getting his first <laughs> ace uh, with Valorant as he's a freshman this year. Can you believe it? He's a freshman. We get to watch four more years of this guy. <laughs> yeah, I'm just wondering. Hope he stays here four years. Uh, gotta, yeah. you gotta get this Bart content. It's what we need. <laughs> we need Bart, otherwise the Valorant team isn't complete. I mean, honestly, yeah. Now. Granted, the other players on the Valorant team were also stellar. We're looking for a great performance from Shadow Ghoul as the IGL this year. He's been stellar at calling plays for the team, keeping everyone moving. Red Radiant has been an absolute staple, switching roles a couple of times throughout his career. He is a senior this year, so look out for some great plays from him. Drawbreaker, obviously, stepping a little bit back from that star position, switching roles. He's on totally different agents, but uh, he is <laughs> he is ready to go. And uh, it seems like he will be putting on a star performance, even not being on his favorite jet, who was nerfed into the ground over the last patches. <laughs> uh, <laughs> we'll be seeing a lot of play from Fully Loaded, another freshman this year. He is hopping on the team and, and joining and seemingly meshing fantastically well with the team, able to set off some fantastic team plays, and he will be joining up uh, with the others in producing some fantastic Valorant gameplay. Finally, Shaggy Sherlock, everyone's favorite caster, Simeon, is now going to be playing with the team, and we'll get to see what he can do uh, as he is, uh, well, I've seen him play, but as far as you guys know, he's unproven. I'll just give you a little bit of a tidbit. He's up there with the rest of the team. Maybe not in rank, but in play, he's definitely. We're he's waiting definitely for. We're gonna watch. get some clips from him. We're sure of it. This game. <laughs> One of these days, <laughs> we'll get a clip where he's uh, he's playing instead of casting. So <laughs> that'll be a, a great time. Super excited to watch all of that as the players are actually hopping into the lobby here. So we'll get to see what that first map is, get everything started. We're going to go to a quick break. And when we come back, we will have the map selection and agent selection for tonight's week one of CW Valorant in the NECC, sponsored by Acuity, as we face Ilni Blue. Stay tuned.
Yeah, I meant to choke on the left Ladies side of the map. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are diving in to tonight's match. We will be popping in shortly. Uh, actually, we are live. Welcome back. We are hopping into tonight's match against Ilni Blue, and we will be diving into our first map tonight of Breeze. I've been informed that the maps are Breeze, Split, and I believe Lotus, which is an interesting set of picks. With the new maps, obviously, not really surprising, but we'll get to see some great little uh, new plays coming out on these maps that haven't been out for a while, so it'll be good to see that. I, as far as I remember, Breeze was not in the last competitive rotation, so it'll be exciting to see all of that. As the agent picks come in, Will, what are you seeing here? Any surprising compositions? Things so, on for? CW, we got Waterman, <laughs> we got Invisible Japanese Man, we got Poison Lady, we got <laughs> we got Dart Man and we got Robot. Yeah, I mean, I, I have to say, you're absolutely right. I have to say, it's it's really cool to see that we've got a Yoru coming out from Bart. Which, I mean, granted, I'm I, I'm not surprised. I think he'll do great. Um, Jawbreaker tells me he's going to frag over Bart on the Viper because he did in scrims. So we'll have to see how that goes for him. Uh, Endless and Shaggy Sherlock playing the double initiator here with the Harbor from Shadow Ghoul. Double initiator, double controller, and one flashing duelist. So an interesting composition, I have to say. But uh, it looks like it will be a fun matchup. No Sentinels for CUW, but on the other side, we've got one Sentinel, Cypher. Uh, we'll have to look to see some disruption from him for them to be successful. They're on defense. It makes sense for them to pick a Sentinel, so I'm not really surprised. And that Jet pick. Jet with the recent nerfs. Still powerful, but certainly weaker. We'll have to see how that turns out for the side of Ilni Blue. Hopefully loading the map soon. I think. Well, do you think the map's going to load? Yep, it just did. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So, bouncing their way right into the map here. Uh, yeah, I'm excited to see how this turns out. This will be definitely an interesting little pistol round. See how the game sets up. and This determines the whole game right here. Whoever wins pistol round, that's the flow <laughs> of the game. <laughs> I mean, supposedly. I mean, that, that's what people say. Uh, I have to say, I tend to not quite believe that that's exactly the case. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's possible. Um, Usually I, I tend to find that pistol round is hard to overcome if you lose it, but uh, that first pistol round especially, you can you can afford a loss. If you but we are into the map here. Toxins going up. in with CUW. Dude, Jawbreaker doing a wall. Alrighty, so cut sight in half. Yeah, Jawbreaker with the, the sight wall and a little bit of flash play going on. Yeah. Got Spike planted. Oh. It's a one-for-one one trade already. Oh, two for Endless. Endless got two already. Big. They're gonna take out the Viper. Last player standing. All the trades coming through from Ilni Blue. One enemy. One, it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Let's see if Shadow Goo can clutch. Can he do it? Oh, tags in. He is looking for that ghost. Oh, he's gonna stay with the classic oh, and he let's gets go. it. Nice. 1v3 for the clutch. That was three for Shadow Goal that round. Yeah, that was a fantastic play there and able to seal that round off of the uh, little orb plant. Love to see that. He'll also be closer to his ultimate. So Reckoning coming in probably potentially on third round if they want it. It's a fascinating little play. Anything you saw there that was uh, particularly special? Oh, uh, we were just better. That's like <laughs> <laughs> pretty much, yeah. Uh, Shadow Ghoul, I thought, really popped off there because he held a uh, angle behind pyramids. It was really good how he played that slowly. And I saw we, there were some good trades there to fight, so I think we did great. Yeah, I'm excited to see that. That looks like CW's really got there. Right here. Coordinated team play together. Looks like they're splitting into a mid default here behind that wall from uh, actually from the defense, I believe. Interesting, but. Play gonna be coming out towards garage here. Jawbreaker got two picks already. That's huge. Jawbreaker with two away from our observer, uh, and Bart realizing oh, that that sheriff kill. <laughs> Bart realized there could be someone else there, but after after shock, spike down A, one enemy will get taken out. And now they will have an A site that's free if they know. It's a three on one right here. They're against Gnome. Let's we'll see if Gnome can clutch. Can he do it? He's gonna creep into sight behind the wall. 
doesn't exactly know where Spike is, and that will allow CUW to get off site. 1v3 attempt here for Gnome. That's going to be all of his cover gone. Sunbolt will not tag him by Endless. Unfortunate. Looks like he will pressure right in here. Drone coming next to stall. Might get one onto Shadow Ghoul, but he should be traded quickly. And, oh, he will get one. Six health, though. Oh, you gotta believe it's over. I think There's they no went way. up with the bomb. Oh. Yeah. Are <laughs> you sure? That. That's his clip right there. There it is. <laughs> yep. That's the clip. You got it, Simeon. We knew you could. <laughs> uh, wonderful play there. From CW. 2-0. Yeah. That's a good start. That's a uh, exciting play. Yeah. Yeah, interesting there, CW. I, I missed what happened. Uh, it looks like CW kind of got caught out a little bit by Aftershock. Uh, just kind of pushing into that game area. Uh, did you see what happened at all? I'm wondering. Uh, Aftershock just seemed like he was just better, and he just hit him with the <laughs> sheriff in the head. I was like, what that? Yeah. I'm wondering if he's their star player and we have to worry about tonight. That could be. You're right. Well, that reckoning, as I said, coming through on round three. And they were ready to use it. Oh, the Shadow Ghoul already getting Oh, spammed. we already lost three. Oh, no. Spike down this is a. rough. That's not good at all. It's the dogs. Last and the Tesla Tiger coming through. Oh. And the and... Okay. I think we got a competition a little bit on our hands. This one, <laughs> it looks like it's going to be close. Yeah, they got, they got the rifles go. and all of a sudden that was, that was it. You can see the, the money they put into the game right there with that knife. <laughs> True. <laughs> yeah, that's a little more than I'm uh, usually willing to spend, I have to admit. But, um, starting it off, um, Bart, I not exactly performing as we expected. CW not going to be on rifles here, so only with the advantage. Falcon's going to have to scrap something together. Maybe not win this round, but see how much damage they can do. And it looks like they will default once again towards B site. Oh. oh no. I mean, you expect that on a rifle rip, but really, I mean. Fiend May, we didn't trade on Fiend May there, the Cypher. Yeah. Around this main area. Almost getting caught out there. Oh, oh let's go, Simeon. That's oh. one. Shaggy with one. Shaggy gonna just fall back and hope he can get some information on mid, but they know he's open. And it looks like they were towards that B site. Slowly. Three on four right now. Decent odds for CW actually. Flashback. Not great. But not. See. And mm. Jarbreaker goes down. Uh, that's not I got that sheriff kill. Oh, yeah. Crispy one. Right here. Oh! oh. Okay, there's the clip right there. That's the big one. <laughs> Is it? One more? Oh! One more? You got the Simeon. Oh, oh that was no. it! That was it! He almost had the full- he almost had- Almost had all five. That would have been an ace clutch too. That would have been oh. the clip for next week. I mean, I, know, I think it almost is already. My goodness, well played there by Shaggy Sherlock. We know what we're able doing. to take Trust down each three. Other and we'll uh, as we said, hey, damage and a Shaggy Sherlock play. That's fantastic. Well, going into this next round, it looks like. It looks like we full bought, so. Yeah. This one's right, gonna be close. Oh, I see an op on on, uh, on the jet there, so we gotta Ooh. be. Yeah, that's, that's a little close. careful. See if we can get an early pick. Keep them out. Yeah, I mean, we'll have to see if. Uh, Shaggy or uh, Jawbreaker over here are able to get. Oh, the narrow miss. Fall off. Space reclaimed by CUW. We have KO to the next fight if we want it. I mean, honestly, they could use it now. I, yeah. I don't see them using it now necessarily, but they could. They really could. They're gonna push up and aggress on here. Looks like it. So we'll be taking most of that space behind the wall. Yeah, nothing. And that will be once again, it looks like a free B site. Now, granted, Ellie is obviously confident in their B site hold. They know 
how they can play around with that Viper, that Cypher. But that's going to be difficult. Taking down most of the utility. I realize no one's here right now, so we got free sight. Yeah, that's really And they're going to get a sight off of the Viper utility not being able to come up either. Really trapping the really sight. All the slow things already. There's Waterman Wall. <laughs> yeah. Uh, one down, but good trades. Bart gets one, Endless gets one. one Shaggy oh. got two. Uh, maybe we finally carry this game. Map. Maybe it's Simeon. It's really Shaggy here. <laughs> That's it. That's all that's going on. Bart got a kill. He's, he's still lagging behind, though. He needs yeah. to catch up. I mean, okay, granted. Yoru is not the best agent in the game. That's I, I'm, I'm just going to throw that out there. Like, of the agents to really perform on, Bart's not playing on one right now. But, I mean, Shaggy's got six right now. I, he's playing like he's got something to prove, if I'm being honest. And that uh, seems he's taking He's taking on the main roster now. Yeah, honestly, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to have to... I mean, not that I'm complaining, but I'm going to be casting with you all season. <laughs> It'll be great. <laughs> Kicking Simeon off the cast. He'll go to the main <laughs> roster. We got Will. We're fine. Uh, and Bart's going to ult in. That's going to be interesting. Go well, who run? Here. Oh, 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 that's unlucky. Oh, my jaw with Oh, no. Oh, no. How? That, that is not how that play was supposed to go. Oh, this is, uh... <laughs> oh. That's... Looks that like it's here. one for one. We're just going back and forth each each round. Yeah, I mean, Bart... That's unlucky, dude. Uh, that's just unlucky. Yeah. I, I saw the vision. I saw... I really did see the vision. And that's just... That's not how it ends. That's not how it's supposed to end, but... I think he's just giving him the first half. Next half is when he really shines. Well, yeah, and I have to be honest, I mean, UW's always been a map 3 team, um, and it seems like this year in particular, at least from what I saw of activation, they're a little slow to start sometimes. Like, they'll get into it in the second map for sure, um, and usually in the first map, it's not like they're totally, like, dropping everything, but definitely in that second map, they're looking... Endless already getting a pick on Jet. Yeah, and it looks like he will hold that angle, too. So... Revealing area. I'd like it. Oh, Shaggy Sherlock getting caught in mid. Mm. That's that's difficult. He's revoked from the team right now. Yep, no, take him off. Bart getting one. Little creep up in mid there. And Shadow Ghoul gonna catch no one here. Oh. Not quite either of them getting the kill. Oh. Neither dying. But that's gonna be a rotate call actually from Shadow Ghoul as he gets that pressure. That little fake towards. And Bart died. Yeah, well, I mean, <laughs> honestly, that's just sending your Radiant player, just, you know, the best player on your team to go fake towards B. Uh, honestly, not a terrible play as far as I can tell. Okay, really, I, I don't know what to be honest, <laughs> but hey, it worked out for them. They're going to have, uh, it did really work out for them. They're going to have a full free A site here, and Cordy is just going to be able to play. Welcome to my world. Ah, there's Viper ulti right there. That makes it really hard to retake, retake bomb. Yeah, and you just play around these pyramids cover. Oh, but the flush out of the reckoning is going to be. That's going to be. If, let's see. Oh. Out, but he will fall. Jawbreaker's still playing inside that ultimate. Oh, getting one. Enemy remaining. Get okay. Two. Oh, that's it. Endless that's endless. He gets three. three. Yeah, and this with that first pick on Cave, and then finishing off the the round there, fantastic. Yeah, it was a good round. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. No, that's hard. Be interesting to see if Bart can step it up. I was a little surprised there with Bart. This just kind of seemed like he just wanted to run it down. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> he's ready. Uh, it feels like he's confident enough. He could just run it. Maybe he's just getting something that we don't know. Yeah, there's probably some radiant level strat that we're just too bold to know. <laughs> sure coming in here. That's a pick on Bart already. It's a one for one trade though, so not the worst thing in the world. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I, honestly, I'll take that. Oh, feet. Oh, 
Oh. Just creep up. Oh, Aftershock with the Lurk, too. Just picking CW apart. That is not what you want to see. Now it's his time again. Shaggy Sherlock. Let's see if he can clutch it up. Yeah. 2v4. I've I've seen worse. Oh, bombs bombs at B, though. Well, oh, Spike is, Spike oh, is right here. Yeah, yeah, it's right. right next to yeah. them. Uh, but I don't know if they'll be aware of Aftershock creeping up this deep into spawn. That's... Last player standing. We'll take down Endless. Yeah, oh, that's, that's that was a good try. Uh, we really got ourselves an opponent here. Yeah. Well, and and honestly, what I, what else would you expect from a, from a region <laughs> this type? I mean, our division is our division being what it is. I would expect some really stiff competition here for CW. No game's gonna be easy. There's uh, not like we've had easy games in the past always, but there's usually been a little bit more of a spread in the division. This time, I mean, they're gonna have to scrap for every inch. We're almost in the best of the best. Yeah, yeah, really. But I mean, it's great, but it does mean we're gonna see some difficult games for CUW. There's Viper Ult on uh, B right now, so it's a little hard to push into this. Yeah, I mean, the Reckoning, once again, a good counter. Even like CW and uh, both of get to take out the opposing Viper Ult, but that's gonna slow down CUW that on this round. I mean, one rifle from Shadow Ghoul, but uh, not the greatest situation here. Oh. Spike oh, down spike. mid. Awkward. Spike drop. They know there's one. No, there's one. Oh, 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 jawbreaker. Okay. Spike like to see. Got that champion's gun. <laughs> Last player standing. Oh, and he'll get the operator too. He's two. gonna fall off. It's a 1v3 right now. Yeah, holding in mid here. Cypher is like 20 though, so it's possible. Could be one shot. You would think he's one shot. Oh, he there is he is. Back. Yeah, behind the push, yeah. Nasty little cross right there. Lucky round. Any any mistake is going to cost a round now, that, I think. Well, yeah, I mean... Either side. I, I, I suppose, yeah, honestly. I. I think we're at the level where that's kind of the case most of the time, but especially at this point when you're kind of in that cycle of, you know, gun round on, gun round off, um, any mistake is probably going to cost two rounds, honestly, because you can't really count on winning your off rounds. Now, granted, CW got close, which was great to see, but that's a little bit of an awkward scenario. There. Back on to full rifles, though, now, so we'll yeah. have to see how they do. Oh, that's so picky on endless before it even started. Oof. Uh, that's that's rough. Bart getting taken out again. Bart. They are just counterplaying Bart right now. That is not really surprising. Maybe they did their scouting. <laughs> I would imagine they did. Uh, <laughs> gotta love, love some good uh, prep work. Another team. CW coming in, just holding mid here, really. Uh, Having lost that angle on A, they're not over eager to really push in towards A. They don't really want to push anywhere. Let LD get antsy. Just waiting anxious. for them to make a mistake. I'm not going to capitalize on it. Yeah, and that should give Ilni information to move off of, so we'll see. Oh, they're not. Oh, bad timing there. Just looks away from the angle. That's. That's. Uh, well, oh. it could go well now that they know he's there. But Shaggy's gonna take that fight and get some damage. 30 Good seconds left. Run away and probably be heard by that harbor. So now both players pushing back towards Spike, re, re clearing. Might go back towards A if they realize exactly how open it is compared to B. But then again, yeah, Sky is creeping out toward mid. That should be. Ten seconds left. The easiest pick there. Maybe. Maybe Shadow Kill gets one. Nope, it's gonna be a save. Oh, gets the damage. Yeah. Got two though. The damage. There's two. A bunch coming up behind him, though. Oh, you know, but. A little won, bit of danger. They won the last two rounds though. Yeah, just gotta make the save spicy, you know. Yep. <laughs> All right. We're, we're def the defender team. <laughs> honestly, on this map, I wouldn't be surprised. This is honestly 
Okay. As 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 the meta stands right now, yeah, I'll, I'll just throw out my hot take. I think this is a defender side. I haven't seen enough. Obviously, I haven't seen much pro play on this. Nobody's seen much pro play on this that I know of, because um, there hasn't been terribly much. Oh, Shaggy! Oh, oh that's Bart. With the Guardian, too. Love to see that. And he's going to aggress Cutting here. Cutting through. <laughs> that's Bart three. That's another by Bart. This is a comeback. He was warming up. Those ten, first ten rounds didn't mean anything. He doesn't mean a thing. He's radiant. He's it's all the deaths he's getting in this game. Oh, and he's got an operator. That scares me for Yelny. I'm sorry, Yelny. I, I don't think you want to walk in here. Oh, you, you did. Maybe apparently. you do. <laughs> all right. You just, cool. It was unlucky. You missed a shot. I cast her first, I guess. I will try not to do that. Oh, so there's no more Vipers. Yeah, and Shaggy's going to take him out. And then Unless he's going to take him out. Not oh, bad. Quite a ace, but pretty close. Well Last done by CW there. The switch. Bringing it back, I mean, honestly, a 7-5 half. That is close. I will take that. that that's great. So he's just making a 6-6, six, six, though. Well, that is an option. That is. <laughs> I'm trying to be, you know, a little pessimistic. Not really uh, cast or curse anyone. But, hey, if they make Gun it 6-6, six, six, I'm going to be excited. That, mm -hmm. that would be great. Endless leaving the operator behind. Looks like CW not really wanting to take that on attack. Respectable move. They've got the money to buy up. It's the last round. And Jet has an op, though. We gotta be a little careful. Yeah, but we're nerfing your And <laughs> Jet with the op, as I said. That, that guy is scary. Oh, Bart is scarier. <laughs> oh, that is the traits. That are all the traits. And that will be a free sight for it's a 4v3. <laughs> oh, Bart. Oh, Bart, I love your playstyle so much, but it scares me a little bit. A little bit of psycho. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean, like, sometimes a lot of me at least suspects it, though, so... I mean, yeah, it works, just running in with the shorty. <laughs> I mean, it's it's a your play. Oh, oh Shadow Bull. He's not going to protect the it looks like. But now they'll know, so that doesn't matter. One enemy Spray remaining. the choke point and hope you don't die. Yep. He's gonna Lying get dang. <laughs> yeah. Let's see if Sky can clutch it up. No. I, I, I and we're using the ulties because final round. Yep. No, it's like we won. Aftershock is flushed out. They are out of time. Now it's just looking for KP. KP. It went to Jawbreaker. Yep. Unless he needed another death. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, obviously, I guess uh, he wanted sides. to keep things balanced. Aftershock was uh, just six, six. To that's that. really good for That's really good for CW there in the first half. Yeah. No, that is fantastic. I, uh, I, well, you heard me. I was expecting 7-5. <laughs> you knew I was expecting Well, seven, yeah, that's, that was the wrong idea. I expected 6-6, six, six, it happened. I guess. So whatever <laughs> you expect happens. So what's going to happen for CUW this game? Uh, they're going to win. It's just that simple. Oh, uh, of course. It it's going to be 13-11 win. 13-11 win. All right. I mean, I could see it. I could see it happening. I doubt it, but uh, I can see it happening a little bit. Or it just goes in OT, which is probably more likely. <laughs> you know, yeah, actually, that's fair. Given the given the way this is going, like, 6-6 <laughs> six, six half. It's probably Both teams are OT. very evenly matched. Yeah, no, this has been fun to watch. Jackie Sherlock here playing defense. Aftershock, aggressive little lurk in here. He's going to be met by two. And it's one for one. I went to Bart, though. It's all good. Jawbreaker holding that mid push, but Harper's gonna sneak through. He'll know that the cipher is lurking. Oh, Endless is gonna take care of that, and Jawbreaker should get. Oh, oh, okay. I mean, a little that bit of visibility. Gumi is kind of doing well, I feel like. But I mean, yeah, Gumi has really picked it up for them. Now it'll be all on Endless. I've seen him clutch before. Oh no! Oh no! That is not. That is not what you want to see. You don't want to jump right into enemy. Well, and and the, just the verticality of that particular section of the map, that's just awkward. That is really awkward. I mean, look, you, you saw his gun up there. Like, yeah, was that was rough. Yeah. Right Looks there. like Ilni now will be buying a little bit. An interesting choice. Uh, but, hey, the force off the second round. Makes sense. I've seen it work a lot, and I think it's statistically a better choice or something. Mm -hmm. I don't know. I'm not a stats guy. <laughs> <laughs> I don't do that kind of thing. You don't do stats. You just see who's winning. Yeah. Right now, well, it, it, it I know, still even. CW, but it's pretty close. Ooh, we're going to share. All right. All right. 
Fight. Oh, Chair. Oh. Chair of shots. Oh, that bulldog so is just better in that fight. Oh well, yeah, I mean it's a better one to do. Chopbreaker gonna get one though. So two falling on me. That's a little. Oh, he's right in your face. Player standing. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. unless that is not what you wanted to see. And now, Shaggy Sherlock with the Sheriff. The Radiant Spike Sheriff planted. Bart. This jet's uh, in a good angle right now. It's a little scary. Yeah, will he see the gun model? No. Nope. He did not nope, see the gun, yes. Yeah. Yeah. I think he saw it for one frame there, but... Yeah, I think we saw the tiny little... Just the little pixel of the barrel, but the Bulldog being a bullpup weapon is kind of just tucked in by the shoulder there. It's, uh... Yeah. Well, that's just unfortunate. So... CW now down 8-6, but hey, 8-6 half, or 8-6 after the, the beginning of the first half, second half, wow, I cannot <laughs> keep track of what we're on here. It's, uh, it's competitive, it's draining you out. Yeah, I'm going to just think about the, the round, one round at a time, no more big picture for me, <laughs> yep. done with that. <laughs> Bard here coming into mid, looks like they're planning some sort of aggressive defensive play here, where Bard gets information and finds out there's three there and gets three kills, right? That's how this goes. Yeah. Well, that's one. The average bar play right here. Did we get two? Oh. Two. Down to five HP, and he's going to get flanked, but still. And it's still a three for three, though. Yeah. It's a little unlucky. Uh, it's even trades. Uh, that's that's what you want to see. Uh, Shadow Ghoul here creeping up onto mid. A lot of aggression. Shaggy one Sherlock facing it. You got two. Shaggy Sherlock really helped him out on defense. Yeah, and no. It's only Viper. Yeah. Gnome right here, right gonna there. see him cross and not quite. See him, he's shot. on left pyramid. Know where Spike he is. Planted. Creeping up, hunting. Jawbreaker and Shadow Glow. Take uh, There's Jawbreaker, nice. finishing up for them. Oh, that's fantastic. Get the Brimstone in the sky. You have the champions, man. No! Nobody <laughs> ever does the animation, it really makes me sad. It's probably my biggest pet peeve of <laughs> all of it's just nobody does the, uh, the animation. Makes me really sad. Well, I, I'm, I'm genuinely. You can see all of the crocodile tears that are streaming down. My They're gonna be right coming now. at the end of the match. One. Slowly as I will weep tears of as joy it progresses. Over CW. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Either way, you weeping tears of joy or weeping tears of regret. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that, that got sad. All right. <laughs> well, we're back to the next round, guys. <laughs> Alrighty, CW diving in here. Drawbreaker gonna take some of this initial pressure, but it looks like it will be Shaggy Sherlock facing on mid. And major fights here. Bart flashing his way in to take some space, and on his way out. Oh, they see Bart. They'll see one. We'll just retreat. So, got a little testy there, but now it's on to Ilni. What are they gonna do with all of this mid presence? I mean, it looks like a default, if I'm being honest. So, probably fall away. Yep. Yeah. Looks like what they're doing right now. Look at that. They're falling away. <laughs> Coming back to Jawbreaker Talks here. To screen down. He will be without utility for a couple of moments, as his toxic abilities, uh, that little bar at the bottom of your screen, refilling, that's how much time he has to use. Going up so, not really measured in seconds. But... He's going to be facing everyone. Oh, there's be three. Two. There's three by Jawbreaker and one by Bart. Spike down, oh, it's a 5v1. That is the sight hold they needed. Oh, Jawbreaker that's... on this Viper is really clutching up in these in these fights. Here. Yeah, I mean, B side is left. locked down. And it looks like... <laughs> it looks like... <coughs> excuse me. Cypher is going to save. That is... Uh, I think that's a smart move, uh, if I'm being honest. It looks like a smart move. All they would do is probably die. Yeah, he's on 26 health. 10 seconds left. 10 seconds here for CW to kind of sit back, plan their next move, make sure they maintain their rifles, and get back into the next round. <laughs> we know more than we did before. Here, back into the next round. It's 8-8. CW coming back. This is what we like to see. 
Um, we're ready for Are we going to get the spider? see an op on the Viper. I will find you. Yeah, that's an interesting. Uh, that's choice. a martial action. Never mind. Sorry, my bad, guys. <laughs> that's all right. <laughs> Marshall here. Found them. Coming up in like over time. Unless he's aftershock right now. Flushing mid. Main. Yeah, mid there. <clears throat> Just a little. It's interesting because those two lanes have been changed. One with the vertical pressure there for fighting window. Oh, yeah, jawbreaker is just better than gnome, I guess. Viper diff, love to see it. And Jawbreaker gonna dig in and really uh, play for me side here. That's two from Jawbreaker. Oh man, peek that window after shot. You know you wanna do it. Oh, he's gonna be spotted. That's three for Jawbreaker. That is what we like to see. Get your ace. I believe. Nope, they're gonna go over towards a site here. Actually, left. Gumi gonna take out Endless with the Sheriff. One enemy remaining. But Bart will take out one. Ugh, the ace stolen from the Jawbreaker. How unfortunate. Gumi getting antsy over there. I mean, you can see him. He's just like creeping around in the back of spawn, hoping a site is open. Ten seconds Oddly left. enough, a site will be open. Or B side, sorry. B side will be open. And he will sneak around in. Really digging in for a safe. As I think nobody really realized exactly how out of time he was. And he would have a pretty safe round there. Pardon me, guys. I uh, caught a little bit of a cold, so I've been hopefully challenged the past couple of days. It's like college flu. It comes at the beginning. Last a month or so, we're going to get out of it soon. Don't yeah, worry, guys. I hope so. <laughs> Tech pause. Oh, Shaggy Sherlock disconnecting. That is... Interesting. interesting stereo there. I mean, it doesn't really surprise me. Um, we've been having issues with PCs. Um, in case you weren't here the first week, actually, this is interesting. We've been moving our PCs a little bit. We'll have an official fans, excuse me, fancy announcement for later, but right now our PCs are kind of in stasis, slightly mobile, moving around for a PC to, you know, kind of drop out on somebody. Um, internet problems. I don't know. Things are in flux. So we'll have to see what uh, the issue is here with Shaggy Sherlock in a moment. As things stand right now, he is actually reconnected already. Fantastic. Love to see it. So, we'll be hopefully getting right back into the match. Um, yeah, Willie, if you were, uh, if you're CW, what are you looking for in this round? Well, we're looking to win it, of course. <laughs> yeah. Um, I think we just need to look to use this Viper ulti we got on Jawbreaker to get a good defense on uh, either A or B. We'll depend on how they push. That's our main goal. Oh, it looks like using that right at the start. Yeah, I'm kicking it right off with the, the A site here. So, got the shorty. Just creep around in the wide roll. It's like a good play. We'll have to see if it turns out. Or is it or the mini? Hunted by that dog. That's the dog. It's maybe a tiger. Sorry. <laughs> official, official ability name. No, it, it's a dog. Uh, it's just called dog. <laughs> everyone in the actual uh, playing Boys community calls it dog, so I'm. Very much in the habit of calling it a dog, and I think, well, you are too. Yeah. <laughs> yep. It's I see a dog, it's a dog. Yep. <laughs> it's growling. It's on four legs. It must be a dog. Looks like it's a rotate from a uh, enemy team here. Yeah, only really uh, pushing through over Standing here ahead. onto mid. Endless gonna get information, but he kind of knew that. Not really getting anything new, and now he'll be held by aftershock. That's a that's a duel I want to see. Get it, Endless. You can do it. Fancy new skins on your side. 30 <laughs> seconds left. I only have 30 seconds to plant here. And it looks like they will be rotating over towards A. Endless getting a little antsy, but that I is going to be countered by the ultimate. Oh, no. Oh, he still gets one. 
No way. No, oh, that... he gets two. How? That's How what he needed he to do. Him? He's gonna find Last one. Oh. oh. Everything else going wrong. Or Shadow wrong. Ghoul, it's a 1v1. Harbor versus Harbor. See which one can clutch it up. Does he know? Oh, oh the jump. Both of them know where they are. Oh boy. Can he clutch up? Got 30 seconds still left on this bomb here. Yeah, that's uh he's gonna put the wall up and really stall for time. Uh oh, interesting little over there. Oh, oh Gumi with the clutch. I was just so close. Oh. Gumi's getting scary. I think he's starting to warm up. Hey, yeah, I mean definitely he seems to be more of an attack sided player here. Not really the most attack sided agent per se, it's pretty balanced, but player is really really awake on this side of the map. In fact, I think he's, yeah, he stepped up behind with Aftershock for that first place. As you can see, the main carries right now are Gumi and jaw, uh, Jawbreaker for each side respectively, so kind of looking at, uh, now we expect. We see Bardet still at the bottom. He still has to get his way up to the top. I mean, you have to wonder, I mean, is the Yoru pick really it for Bart? Or perhaps, I mean... Maybe he's just the testing the waters. Yeah, honestly, maybe Jawbreaker is just the best on Viper that we've ever seen. It wouldn't surprise me. He did really well on Viper uh, last year. Revealing area. Uh, yeah. Have to see how that works out in the rest of the season for now. A bunch of I trades. Two for two trade. Mark gonna get at least one here. Get spotted. Oh, actually. Oh, Aftershock still gets him. Endless here holding Spike planted. back into the site. A tight little angle. Corner of the wall in the pyramid. He has to know where they are. It's gonna be a shock dart. Do a little chip damage. Flush them out of position. So what? Oh, it, it worked. He's not ready to capitalize. Oh, Jawbreaker getting one. It's a 2v2 right now. Last oh. Standing. Cypher holding that across though. Did he spot Jawbreaker? Oh, remaining. but Jawbreaker gets the kill. He doesn't have much time to defuse. That's the problem. He's gotta run around here and play for that spike tap. Oh, oh. He, you have time? have time? I think, I think he does. Time. That's gonna see be this? really close. You see the circle? I think it's good. Oh, oh no. point two three. Oh. Jawbreaker played that really well. If it was only a fraction quicker, he would have gotten that. Yeah, uh, if he'd gotten it on that first spray, I mean. That's that's just, I mean, well played by by Gumi. I have to say, well played. But Jawbreaker is fake. He is he has come to play today. Well, CUW coming back for their standard defense here, set up towards uh, B site with Viper and Yoru. Weapons hot. Bid for Sova, Harbor, and Ko on the B site. A site. Sorry. You see that Shaggy Sherlock has ult here for if they reach if they want to take uh pyramids. Two suppressed. Yeah, he's gonna spot two towards that A site, so they're probably gonna just stay patient for now. That's not really enough players to know that there's a push coming in one direction or the other, but able to dig in. Cipher with the on the map. Where is that going? He wants oh, probably just spotting one up towards the mid. There's dogs. Jawbreaker, or no, Shaggy, Shaggy Sherlock can get one here. Right? Oh, Bart getting Bart one. On the A site. Bart's low though. Gumi taking out down endless on mid, so still even trades. Gumi's kind of low though. Right, you've got uh... And same with Bart, they both chunked. 200 players, Bart is one shot, Gumi's a little healthier than that, but that will be the plant coming through. Planning default. Yeah, Shaggy Sherlock. Oh, got this. Oh, oh no, not the reload button. That's so unlucky. It looks like he was reloading when he was peeking in that angle. Yeah, that <laughs> a little is unfortunate. No, what you want to see? Oh, oh shadow the shadow ghoul. Can you get the res on the shadow ghoul? Last player standing. Nope. And it will be a one v two. Fire. We'll let them know exactly where he is. Oh, that will be fine. Don't worry, I didn't forget. Going the way. Can Gumi take this? It doesn't look like 
Like he's just trying to, trying to kill. Not bad. Get out. He doesn't have time to get out, unfortunately. <sighs> so close. So close on all counts, but uh oh, looks like That's twice in a row we just weren't able to defuse in time. Yeah, I mean it's really close and that that yes. I was just gonna say, I'm hoping we get a timeout sometime in the next round or so. I don't really wanna see it go to twelve nine without a timeout, and it looks like Shadow Ghoul doesn't either, so good timeout vote called there. Uh Will, if you're Captain Shadow Ghoul, what are you saying to the team? I'm thinking he just wants to regroup everyone, because like, they're kind of probably a little mad about these last two rounds, <laughs> but <laughs> it, I think they just got to relax, take it easy, and just clutch it up one round at a time, and then they might go to OT, or might just win. 11, 13, as I said. <laughs> yeah, I, you know, that's, that's actually, yeah, four rounds, that's all they would need, which is pretty doable in Valorant. I mean, you can see already in the game we've had streaks of three rounds, so... Should have been able to take that down. I mean, honestly, this could go to overtime, too. I mean, as we mentioned, this has been an even matchup. Three rounds in a row for CW and, and a round for Ilni. You get an overtime here. But CW really looking to get this next round, because otherwise the Falcons are not likely to have much of a fighting chance. So, have to see how they do. Standard defensive setup once again, although Endless is going to be playing from the Doors side of mid. There's question mark Jeff face right there. That's a good sticker. <laughs> that is a wonderful <laughs> sticker. Shaggy Sherlock is questioning everything the opposing team is doing right He's like, now. wait, why am I here? <laughs> <laughs> Existential problems in the Valorant game. Looks like Endless with the Guardian here. going to spot the Viper Orb, but not the Viper. There's dogs out. <laughs> yes, there is in fact a dog pushing towards the A side. <laughs> Uh, but Gnome will have the little jump up onto the mid wall here, and it will be Jawbreaker to face. Jawbreaker has to be careful here. Oh, and he will fall. that's really, it's rough. You said it, you needed to be careful. And now, I mean, you can see the control on the mini-map. CW has lost basically the B side of the map. They're giving it up. They're, they're keeping A, which is good. But with with Ilni grouping into mid here, now that is not the position I'd want to be. <laughs> ready for Bart. So I've ready. Got your this cipher is kind of good. He's another one of the carries. There's lots of carries on this enemy team. That's very scary for CW here. Left. Yeah, I mean they've they've all had their moments for sure. Oh, cipher. He has a. He's, oh no. Oh. Shaggy, no. Standing. Is this going to be an ace for a Cypher? And that is an ace. Wow. That is very rough. And right after a pause as well. Took the time out. Yeah. You just wish you had another one right now. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I think they do actually have an extra time out. I forget. Is it two per map? One or two per map. But, uh, that would be per series. Oh, come on. No, they have. I think they have per map. Oh, God. Because, so. I mean. If you need to take them in overtime, for example, yeah. and you used them all up in Here. earlier parts of the series, that's really unfortunate. Maybe <clears throat> Sherlock can get the information on chat. Nobody's really concerned, but that's going to be the push right away. Could one of those These get shots lucky? are so close. Yeah. Both sides. And Bart, a little too aggressive, as we can see. Yeah, Bart just really loving the aggression on the road, not with the same ability to get out that he's used to, maybe. Really need to get a trade back here, otherwise their push is going to be kind of hard. Yeah, I mean, admittedly, Ilni's kind of spread out over the map, so that push, although it lost some ground for CW, it only lost one player, and they've gotten some damage off on two of Ilni's players, so. Ilni now pushing up into mid, looks like Endless will be taking this pressure. What else will they have this round? Yeah, I, I don't know. Uh, looks like they've got a couple of ultimates, but... I wonder if they're going to use them here, because this is do or die. Got to start map. Yeah. No, that's Get true. Ahead. Hopefully, uh, yeah, yeah, this the guard's ultimate is gone. Oh, oh there's oh, Shaggy. He get one. Spike Traded one for one. Way. You know where yep. Jet is, though. 30 seconds left. He's going to get in the, that one shot. Oh, Jet knows where Endless is, so that's a problem. Uh, oh, no. 
Oh, oh yeah, endless. Trade one. You got one. Shadow Gold gets one. And then let's get Jad again. I mean, they it, know it's where a two v three. We're up one. That's is good news for us. Let's see a W. Yeah, really trying to get around. They have ten here. seconds to plant. Jad has spike. Ten seconds left. If they get spiked down, I think that's it for this. Oh no, standing. no I'm with the flank. No, it's back to a 1v2 and with a spectre. No Rangers left to oh. watch this. That's... Oh! Oh, no. he had to reload. That would have been it. Oh, oh that's so One sad. One extra burst to the stinger. That is unfortunate for CW. Oh, man. Well, Almost. we are going to go to a quick break. And when we come back, we will be diving into Split for CW. Stay tuned for that as... Uh, We'll be back shortly.
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. We are waiting here for the second map of CUW versus Ilni Blue. At last map, CUW fell, unfortunately, in a really unlucky set of last four rounds, 13-9. Uh, Bart really not quite popping off as much as we'd expected. Uh, Jawbreaker stepping up, uh, topping the scoreboards, doing really well. It was an exciting game from him, but uh, as we're getting into split here, Will, any uh, last thought? Uh, that was a weird glitch. Any last thoughts on uh, how the last map went? Yeah, I thought Jawbreaker had an outstanding performance. I'm just waiting for Bart. He's got to get that <laughs> moment. Yep. He's, maybe that one was just a warm-up. He was starting to get it near the end. But he didn't really make it. And on enemy team, like a lot of players like Gnome and Gumi were sort of popping off in these uh, skirmishes and getting two, three kills like every few rounds. It yeah. kind of carried the wind for them in that in that map specifically. Yeah, I have to say between those, the the little step ups there and the aftershock, really just having a consistent performance on the sky, and then feet in uh, that cipher, just a little lurks every once in a while, not really yep. popping off, not really doing anything spectacular, but every once in a while, just the lurks stepping in, cleaning up rounds or, or getting openings for his team. Uh, a really, really work well coordinated team there from Ilni Blue. CW, obviously not uncoordinated by any means, but there was a few like, moments where yeah. they were got caught off guard by the aggression. And that's that's uh, that's unfortunate. That's how the game goes, and hopefully CW as a team will be able to work together a little bit more. Uh, but we'll have to see how everything goes as the players are saying they're ready. Uh, one last comment I did want to make about the last map. Uh, Endless and Shaggy Sherlock, really. I mean, Shadow Ghoul got his usual kind of standard kills. Endless and Shaggy Sherlock. We weren't sure what to expect from Shaggy. Um, it's a moment. Not playing tonight, so we had to see what he had, and yeah, he had some moments, exactly what you said. Especially at the beginning, where I think I believe he got a 3k. Yeah. Well, we will be getting right into this next map here of Split, as the picks and bans are coming through for ages. They're not bans, there are no bans. Jawbreaker playing the French man himself. <laughs> Chamber. That is a pick I have not seen from Jawbreaker since ranked in 20... 21, oh, I Bart's think. playing Raze. That's something he's a little more comfortable on. There we go. It looks yeah. like he it wasn't that comfortable on the Euro last game. Yeah, well, interesting to see, too, with Aftershock over there on the on the raise. We'll see that counterplay between uh, what I would say are the two best players, what I would have expected to see as the two best players on the two teams. But, uh, yeah, interesting to see that, that raise double pick. Obviously, controller-wise, so both teams kind of picking a Viper. Um, is that Just, Astra? Yeah, that's Astra. That is an Astra. It's pick. Ball Lady. <laughs> <laughs> She's got hair. Excuse she you. she gives she puts balls around the map. <laughs> oh, well, yes, no. She she drops little balls of smoke uh, across the map. And then the she's Symmetra, yes. which is Valorant version. <laughs> <laughs> puts up a little uh, impenetrable wall. Oh, so across the whole map. Yes, because of course that doesn't sound broken at all. I, I promise you, actually, it really isn't. Yeah. But. Uh, we'll have to see how that works out with the picks for Ilni. They're going to be getting into the map shortly here as we load. Interesting, with low ping, somehow we're still not, uh, not loading. loading. Yeah. Also, we apologize for the background noise, but our band on campus that plays for uh, chapel and, and a kind of Sunday evening <laughs> concert, they are very <laughs> loud tonight, and I don't know what's gotten They're energetic. Them. They are. Um wonder if that's just a really open vent, but normally the drums are not that overpowering. Uh, so, <laughs> sorry, <laughs> nothing we can do except, uh, well, I mean, we could go ask them to turn it down, but it's they okay. can't because it's an acoustic set. So, oh well. Yeah. I'm a little scared. Mango on the jet again, that's something that's spicy. I feel like he had a few moments to pop off, but he yeah. wasn't nothing special. I mean, he was definitely in a corner for most of the last game. It, CW shutting him down, I would say. Um, he had the options with the, the operator, um, but CW still getting those little... Uh, was it Jawbreaker that had that little pick on mid? I believe so. He got yeah. a lot of picks that game, specifically. Yes. On, uh, I think, Mango. Like, yeah, he got completely shut down while... Like, they, they're kind of swept around their agents. Like, Gumi this time is playing the Sky, for example. Right. And, and I think that's a sign of a good team in some ways, that you're all adaptable enough to play agents that way. Um, but it's also an interesting sign because sometimes uh, players with different agents comfortable on different maps. Um, 
it leads to some really strong and really weak maps for different compositions, depending on how comfortable everyone is. So, we'll have to see how that turns out. Starting into the first map, as we call a pistol round, the one that matters. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and it all came down to, we lost pistol, I believe. Wait, yeah, we, on the we lost map, pistol, we lost good. the game. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, it seems like CW losing that pistol round, I, I, I didn't really want to say it when you were you were leaning into it, but you're absolutely right. It turned out to... It's rough for losing a pistol. Yeah, it is, it is rough with them losing pistol. I like that bunny charm we see on Domingo. Domingo <laughs> <laughs> with the bunny. Wow, CW just running it down here. They are... There's that boom bot. Oh, ah, endless with the one for one. That's a lot of one for ones going on. Yeah, even trades all the way across, and now it'll be 3v3 up on the heaven. Oh. Interesting there, oh, but endless still one for one. one it's a one for one in there. <laughs> that was quick. Oh, there you go, let's go, Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul that ghost. to the trades there. <laughs> he hit that one shot. Love that. Well, uh, that was an exciting little uh, round of trades. Good to see it. I mean, you know, pistol round, a side push. I'm kind of used to that at this point. That, that seems pretty standard, but uh, <coughs> CW going to have to dig deep and, and get some... Uh, well, we won going. pistol. We know what you say. We win the game. Well, the half. The half, specifically. Because <laughs> admittedly, That's going into the last yeah. half... It's, about, it's about the pistol. mental. It is. It is. Win pistol, win the game. That's it. <laughs> Let's go, Falcons. Boom! Now Bart's looking a lot more comfortable on this pick. <laughs> yeah, he is. <laughs> oh, a bulldog? Nice. Let's go, Bart. He gets two. One with the guardian. Let's get a careful aftershock here. He has a good angle. Juggling the bulldog. And he so threw it over the wall, so they did not get it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's a smart play. Uh, they don't need a weapon upgrade off of that at all. And now the B push. Quick little pivot here from CW. Chamber and Ray is gonna lead the way. Jet here is like one tap, so this is looking kind of interesting. Well, interesting. You mean like, <laughs> difficult to win yeah. for LD specifically? <laughs> yeah. Got. Let's see if they find a way, or if CW gets the dub on the, on the second second round. And that is. The oh, end. The, no. Bart, that's three. And that's another Bart play. Oh. That's just like, that's going to the montage. <laughs> I was so unprepared for that. What in the world, Bart? How? <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, Bart with his... Uh... I think he's in form. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I think so. I think it was all that your pick. It got to him. It was a little complicated. He's back on race. He throws the grenades. He goes boom boom, and he wins. Yeah, I mean, and with the guardian besides, like who, who, why, why would you? Who aces with the guardian? Oh yeah, now they're just gonna sit in the sewers because that. that <laughs> it's sense. a normal behavior. <laughs> normal Valorant behavior. We're gonna use. A bit of pressure up onto the oh, candy. Bart getting picked. Oh, oh that's the round. No. Uh, oh, oh, maybe. Well, no, Shaggy's down, no, nope. A. Endless got one. There you go. That's the round back. There's that down one here. Yeah, Jet's, Jet's half, so it's not the, the hardest thing in the world. Yeah, I mean, we're getting some good damage off there for sure. It just was a little bit unfortunate with the wall bang getting both lucky and just skillful. Endless has spike here. It looks like we're doing a rotate through sewers. Yeah, I, I mean, help sewers? Uh, anyone... Anyone gonna help sewers? No, I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> giving call outs to the defense. Now. What am I doing? <laughs> yeah, uh, there's sewers by the way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's just the timing of Valorant. Endless and Shadow Ghoul getting spotted there on mid. But 30 seconds the left. Astra pick is gonna pay off here. They get some pressure off. Ooh, Mango. Mango's kind of having a good round. Yeah, he's gonna get flashed. Really and, wow, after shot. Looking away from the judge. That that doesn't seem like the best play, but uh, 
Yeah, no, that's, that's Another one for Aftershock. Yep, well, uh, okay. The jet in ropes is not exactly what I wanted to see if I'm CW. That's not what you want to be facing at all, so. Do you want to lower my volume a little bit? I don't uh, Probably I a little too loud. No, you're good. Okay, you sure? Yeah. Looks like a tech pause here coming up from CUW. Shaggy disconnected once again. <laughs> oh my goodness, man. Why? Uh, he wants to be back on the cast. He's done. Yep. That was his map. He popped off. He's like, I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, looks like he will be, in fact, reconnecting shortly. Uh, and then uh, hopefully oh, balancing it. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, I, I think... I think CUW can make some good things out of this next round. I mean, they're up 2-1. They've got, hopefully, rifles, I would think, for this buy. Um, but, uh, I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Little jawbreaker pause here. Looks like he was the one that called it. Yeah. That's probably why it's too loud. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> uh, yeah. Anyway, so, CUW getting right back into it. Um, Hopefully shortly here, but of course, everyone's favorite caster has now disconnected from the game. <laughs> Gosh, Shaggy. He's so like, I don't got you. kills. It's it's a go next. He's yep. 03. Yeah. He's not having it. He's done. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so he will be back into the game now. Pauses off. Take another couple minutes. Jawbreaker, of course. Classic sheriff. Not sheriff. Classic chamber uh, play here with the, the headhunter. Gonna hop right over. Gets eight shots. It almost looks like he gets those automatically. That, that's the weapon. You you buy the shots. That's right. You buy each individual shot. How do you play this game? Why do I know it? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> After shot, gonna get one on the Bart with the judge. It looks like countering. I think it was countering Bart's ultimate. No, nope, not quite. Uh, no, yeah, countering Bart's ultimate. Unfortunately. Jawbreaker gonna creep in with the uh, headhunter and that's really loud. That is a <laughs> there's a lot of noise going on here tonight. Uh, bear with us, folks. We'll hopefully be in a slightly better streaming situation soon, but uh, so it goes. Jawbreaker here creeping up into mid. Gonna face that judge once again. Aftershock has been absolutely going off the judge, so hopefully Jawbreaker will be able to get some crispy headshots off. Like that one. Oop. No, not not quite that one. Maybe the next one. No, oh, Gumi got one on Sherlock. Oh, and he's gonna get the flash onto Shadow Ghoul. That's unlucky. That's just unlucky. Oh, the oh there's knives, knives are out. Oh, they know where Shadow Ghoul seconds. is now. Yep. He's gonna get knife. Uh, oh. oh no, he's not. Uh, I guess oh, he's just better. <laughs> yeah, 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 I guess so. There's his blinds out. Oh, and Gumi got him. Uh, Gumi is. Uh, draw? Okay, okay, draw. There you go. No, no rifles there. Gumi kind of popped off there. Yeah. He almost got one, one v three. We will not talk about what Drawbreaker <laughs> just did either. Oh. It's okay. Oh, Our eyes were close. No, nope, we didn't see anything. <laughs> we're covering my face. All right. <laughs> that was a little awkward, but that's all right. Back on the gun round, tied up. That's a good start for CW. I, I don't mind that. Vamos, gente. Vamos, gente. I don't actually know if that's how it's pronounced, but it's how it sounds. So. Wait, wait. Are you using my logic? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's good logic. I mean, it, it works. That's true. There's a star right there. Oh. Ooh. Or the jiggle peeking. Get a little bit of knowledge of known. And he's gonna push right past that little heaven peak. Oh, oh. one drop. Yeah, oh. and he's not gonna be able to aware quite in time. Amen. Shadow go get it, get past safely, and Drawbreaker gonna get a trade for Bart's life. But now Shadow Girl gonna get pushed back, I guess. Here. Well, he didn't need to break that, but you know he did. It's okay. And they're gonna be I've aware that they're trying. close to the right. Flash off. And... Okay. Let's go, Shadow Ghoul. Yeah, Shadow Ghoul getting the. That's first one. two. That is a 3v4. Aftershock is just in their back line all of a sudden. 
but uh, that'll take it down to a 2v3. So, with Shadow Ghoul week, uh, and Jawbreaker week for that matter, Jaggy Sherlock is going to have to be the one to really uh, get some done here, I think. Yes, Jawbreaker can't do anything with that low health. And he gets one shot. <laughs> That's unlucky. Unfortunate there. It looks like CW is kind of repeating their pattern from the last map, which, I mean, given that they lost last map, uh, not exactly what we want to see. That is I'm not at all. Honest. I think Mango is having a pretty good map so far. Well, yeah, you kind of <laughs> he was he was prepared with the jet. Yep. Yeah. He had a he had a good start last game, but then afterwards he kind of fell off. So let's see if we can get that going again. Yeah, I, I would hope also that Bart can kind of keep this form up. I mean, he's not quite at the top of the leaderboard. He and Shadow Bull really though, keeping the the top of that leaderboard tied down and digging in for the next. Oh, yeah. Nice little fight here. Kumi gonna take out Shaggy Sherlock on that first engagement. And Bart. Kumi oh. got him again. And so much damage. Almost taking out. Yeah, Kumi got a third. Oh my That's god. Not, yeah. Shadow Bull on the side. I was here. right. This guy's scary. Yeah. And that flash is gonna go off right in the trouble. Oh. And there's a knife. That's the disrespect. Oh, oh no. <laughs> oh, you don't do that to Shadow Ghoul. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, make uh, our IGL mad. Make him mad. Yeah, uh, now he's really putting on the big guns. Ugh. He's buying that operator. <laughs> Is he buying the operator? No, I don't think so. <laughs> no, he didn't, in fact, buy the operator. Yeah, he just got another van, though. after that. Oh, that's... Oh, that's just... I mean, I have to respect it, Ildi. Honestly, <laughs> I, I have to respect it from Ildi. Gotta get that but, one knife kill the game. Yeah, uh, of course. But at the same time, my goodness. Ah. Uh, that's just unfortunate. Well, CW gonna take mid here. Five, no, just three. Just three angry players walking up into mid. Led by a, a radiant phrase. Who's been mid and flash. Okay, so now they know someone's there. That's, that's all right. Oh, Jawbreaker getting caught on that lurk though. Not uh, what you want to see. Jaggy Sherlock gonna take this space. Probably gonna get picked by Mango. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, not exactly what you want to see there. I feel like our coordination's kind of falling apart again. Well, I mean, that's a default. You kind of expect to have some players get seen over there, but you're trusting them to win those aim pools. And when they don't, well, things get a little awkward. Uh, Shadow Gold gonna lose down, Spike beat. in Garage, which is gonna put a lot of pressure on CW to take that space. Oh, Bart! That Here's was. the satchel behind him and just takes Aftershock out of the air. And this one for CW to Oh, and that's Gumi again. Gumi. Well, uh, yeah. Uh. I mean, we can see. I'll process. Well, yeah. There's a timeout. I, I have to note also this map was Ilni's pick, if I remember correctly. Um, I believe Breeze was CW's pick. Yes, yeah. So this map was Ilni's pick. Here. Obviously, they're very well prepped on it. Uh, and it also looks like that's paid off for them. They know what they're doing well enough to really kind of challenge CW on this map. Now, granted, this used to be a CW map all the way back in the day, uh, but after the changes came through and some of the, the meta changes, not all that much. Um, yeah, I, I, I have to say, I hope Shadow Glue can get the team kind of jazzed up for this next round. It's better get something rolling. Yeah. Oh, it's getting rough if they get a few more round wins, and it's going to be like 7-2, for example. That's that a rough be... start. It's a I rough mean, you half. Can, you can still bring that to a 7-5 yeah. half. Great. Yeah. But that takes three rounds in a row at that point, which not the easiest, not the commonest, not exactly what you want to be facing if you're the Falcons, because, well, a 7-5 half is just uh, a little bit difficult. So we'll have to see how that goes. Maybe it's just a money diff. Mango with that, that, that knife. Yeah. We, we need that knife. <laughs> Spending on the training <laughs> pack, it was it was worth it. Yeah. He's gotten personal coaching from Kang Kang that we didn't uh, <laughs> know about. We set the tempo, not them. <laughs> we gotta be looking at Bart here to get some you nasty play, nades. Let's play. And Cypher wants a friend. I mean, uh, Chamber wants a friend. He wants us to play. Let's see if he can get some shots with that that off. <laughs> <laughs> Bart can uh, Take a little bit of chip damage off that initial fight, but he will be fighting his way in here up against the judge once again. Don't peek that rope. Okay. Okay. 
Oh, oh. He knows where Aftershock is. He's gonna get healed up to almost 100. He has no shields, though. Well, yeah, but still, it's a good two or three shots instead Sky of... Sky is one shot, somehow. I don't know how that okay, happened. gonna go in to flush people out. Shadow Ghoul gonna take out Aftershock, and that's going to be the judge for Bart now. So, pressuring in behind Mango, are they gonna have the timing on this particular push? It looks like they will. Oh, Mango with the aim. Pre-aim, though. Looks like they're gonna be hopping up and down on ropes. Shadow Ghoul and Jawbreaker trying to take some space. Stinger and, uh, well. Teleport's ready. Uh, and that up. Tour de force. That's what it is. I was getting there. I was getting there. <laughs> Tour de force. Triple scope up. <laughs> the op with the fancy things. Ooh. Yeah, Jawbreaker is in one, two. He's in his he's he's in his French atmosphere. He's he wants that element. baguette. <laughs> Take the baguette, boys. Oh. oh he's getting it! One more. It looks like he's pushing Take heaven. W. Mango is pushing heaven right now. Get the fourth kill. Clutch up, John. Oh! Okay, let's go. That's that the baguette. <laughs> French diff. <laughs> the, the W baguette there for Jawbreaker. <laughs> well played. Or shall I say, ho ho. Uh, <laughs> sorry to any French people who are offended by our stereotypes, but uh, I am well, French. We love. Uh, I, or, uh, I'm sorry. I, uh, <laughs> I find it funny though. So good. it's all good. All right. Cool. <laughs> I passed the test, so don't worry, guys. Splendid. It's all good. <laughs> CUW coming off of their round win. Diving into the next gear. Ooh. Mango saw what Jaw was doing, and he wants to try again. One for one trade. Yeah, Bart getting that one there. And it looks Both like guys are gone. Be keeping up in the sight. Oh. oh. That That's guy awkward. was cooking something. He was flying <laughs> in the air. And now Shaggy Sherlock will put the Viper's Pit down. I don't think that's a phrase I've said in a very long time. In fact, I don't think I've ever said it big, on a cast. Big smoke. <laughs> <laughs> big green smoke. <laughs> Femin on the Viper are going to be coming through. Maybe the Viper knows how to outduel the Viper on their own tricks, but uh, Shaggy Sherlock's going to turn his back. No! That's the Viper's Pit down. Oh. And oh, Shadow Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul. He got a anyway. 3k. I yeah, like the to see. there. I mean, that was that could have been really awkward. Femin peeking in, digging through the back of that uh, viper, viper's pit. Could have been, could have been nasty. But Shadow Ghoul clutching up, the IGL taking over for. That was the know, pause we needed, I think. We're starting to get a comeback. Yeah, honestly, I mean, uh, comeback. That's two rounds in a row. Yeah, comeback season is uh, definitely open here. I mean, we were sacking for econ. Yeah, well, maybe maybe we were maybe we were just letting uh, Ildi get a little warmed up to the fact that they're used to this map and now we're oh well, I mean, going out. I didn't really want to see that. I have to say, uh, that's not what we like to see. Now we just, oh, or that. Or yeah, I think we've um. Yeah, I, I, I think it's yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A little too positive. Sherlock gonna fall back into sewers here, and it looks like, well, as I say that, it does in fact fall to Mango's operator. So we do got the power. Casters do have the power. We have the power, <laughs> so Shaggy Sherlock is not going to win this round. He's not going to get. Oh, okay, but. That yeah, guy was maybe. just doing circles on him. Yep. <laughs> yep. Funny opening there, yeah, shoulder, shoulder peeking. Mango gonna keep the out, and CW going to dive back in here for. Another round. We see Bart has his ulti here in this one, so we're gonna hope he gets at least a 2k from it, but. <laughs> <laughs> Expecting the 2k already. I mean, yeah, well, I, I got some expectations. He's yeah. doing better this game. I gotta see him pop off. <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, yeah. He's gotta, do, he's gotta get another, he's gotta get some more clips. That's right, we need the content. That, that's what we're looking for here. <laughs> gonna come in pretty aggressively on the aftershock, really forcing him off that ramp angle with the utility. Uh, no ulti usage yet. Looks but like we're moving through sewers. Yeah, gonna drop 
sounds like almost absolutely silently into sewers, but Gnome's close enough to be able to hear things, so. There's Gnome having right. the angle. Gnome's got that nasty little angle there. Is CW gonna be aware? No, no, they're not. Oh, and no. Gnome got two. Gnome was too stunning that area. Spray. Oh. Gunbreaker's got the read here, but uh. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Uh, I guess he's just got that French buff. You know? yep. <laughs> wow, and Shadow Ghoul's gonna get one back, so now it's back to a 3v3. He wants that bread. He does want the <laughs> bread. Drawbreaker gonna creep up towards B site now. <laughs> Looks like Endless has Spike here. I, I wish I could say that was skill, but. I, mean, I think he did. He heard him, so he knew kind of where he was. Well, he knew kind of where he was, but yeah. like the actual knowledge for that headshot, <laughs> he was just guessing at that point. Yeah. Shadow Ghoul coming through towards the A side. It looks like Jarbreaker will be lurking onto Aftershock here. Dangerous against the judge, but he will take the, the win, and ready. now I think CW left. should know. A side is open, and they will be taking it. Shadow's traveling. Got Spike planted. And I hear Jet just pop knives. That's a little scary. Let's see if we can kill her before she gets a 3k. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Mango creeping up towards the heaven area here. It looks like Jawbreaker's going to be first one attacked. And, and Jawbreaker just got uh, it. Uh, but they were camping TP, so. Yeah, I mean, that makes sense, but still able to get the kill. And it is now a 2v1 for. Oh, Shaggy dying, but Shadow Ghoul's gonna get Shadow Ghoul crush it up once again. That IGL, he's really taking control. Yeah, he has decided last to take over this game half. as well, doing pretty well last game and really stepping it up here. Now, granted, Bart's coming back too, but Shadow Ghoul and Jawbreaker topping the leaderboard. Yeah, but Shaggy Sherlock, he don't gotta kill this game. <laughs> well, I mean, I wasn't gonna mention that. But <laughs> Sometimes, buddy. the last game he got a lot, so this game he has to balance it out. Yeah, it's right, just yeah. next half. Yeah, buddy, uh, I, I'd love to, I'd love to, I'd love to have another Shaggy highlight like this round. How's this round sound? You got, you got this round. I, I think it'll be next pistol, next round after this. Next round. Yep. Yeah, that's possible. Oh, oh, Bart was well. It's the 2K, one on himself. That's what <laughs> I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> that's not exactly the 2K we wanted. <laughs> Shadow Ghoul gonna tuck in behind Pillar here, or in, in It was uh, a in 2k hell. though. It, it was, it was a 2k, <laughs> you're right. Oh, oh Aftershock, Aftershock with the judge. judge. He will not actually get traded, so. He Difficult is low though. Here. Jawbreaker and Shaggy Sherlock ready to bust things up here. Ooh. Shaggy, Shaggy gets a trade though, that's good. Really important. Ooh, and damage on every player, I think, of Oh, let's go, Shaggy! Nice. He kind of popped up there. He did. <laughs> he got He's three. coming back. That's what I wanted. I wanted the highlight. He Switching clutched sides. up. Let's go. Classic recon balance. Gotta love it. Beautiful knife. I personally. It's nice and simple. Yes, I personally use that knife regularly. So. <laughs> it's your favorite. Appreciation. It is. I think. I think it is a tie. Between mm -hmm. Recon Bellasong mm -hmm. and um, Ego Knife. Mm -hmm. You know the Ego, the, the black and gold? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had a, a color theme for a while ago and that was just black and gold. Mm, that sounds really nice. Yeah, really it fancy. It was, it was a little glitzy for. And he's playing a game inside of a game. <laughs> <laughs> Taking down that octopus. <laughs> the only octopus will fall. <laughs> Shaggy Sherlock can hold on to sight here. As we step into that first pistol round of the defensive half for CUW, Bart looking to creep up here, take a little space through the Viper Orb, but he will be dk down to 1 HP. Jawbreaker! Uh, Jawbreaker opening things up. That's what we like to see from him. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, that's... He popped off last round. I mean, he popped off last map, and now he's going to pop off. He's popping off once again. Oh, Shadow Goal. He sees two. He sees people. You really hear that singing in the background? We got some ambience, guys. Singing the, the war song of our people. Oh, oh. Aftershock on the part. I mean, the shorty at that range, I think. Endless got a trade, though, so on someone else, so. Yeah. It's not the worst thing in the world. Still a 4v3. 
I mean, that's numbers up for CW, but the uh, aftershock with shotguns on this map is not something I ever want to face in my life. I mean, granted, I'm not high <laughs> enough rank to face him in the first place. But, yeah, aftershock, uh, period, we don't want to face him. <laughs> right, but, but at the same time, uh, you know. They're nasty with these shotguns and their yeah. aggression. 30 seconds left. Looks like it will be coming over towards this side here. Yeah, as Shadow Bull really takes some defensive space. Oh, Jaw that's still Jaw. And One now enemy it'll be another remaining. Fight oh, Endless got another. Spike down he's told who's the better Sky. Yeah. And, and he got three Endless that round. Three. Not bad. Yeah, I mean, that's really impressive. He woke up. Got some, some pistol round kills. I think he got pistol round kills last I think that's that protein powder coming in. Oh, yeah, no, it's gotta be. <laughs> Actually, it's Juggernaut. That's true. Our yeah. sponsor. <laughs> gotta plug him in. Uh, <laughs> that 3K by Endless was sponsored by Juggernaut. <laughs> no, don't worry. We don't have any recorded sponsorship spots here yet. Yeah, if you do sponsor. want it, though, if let you, us yeah. know. Hey, if you want a recorded sponsorship spot, but uh, uh, Sam, Will, and Sim special for, for sponsorships. <laughs> uh, we can uh, we'll get plug it in every one. stream. Don't worry. Or at least one stream. Just, yeah. just maybe just one. It's stream. up to you guys. Yeah. Bart's gonna chuck the nade down here into the corner. A little bit short, but he will be facing. Oh, oh yep. I didn't even see him. Oh, yep. Yep, <laughs> That's yep, his yep. Bart. Yep. Okay. Eco ace. I think this is this might be another eco ace. One enemy yep. remaining. Bounces past. No, no, look behind you. No. <laughs> and now Shaggy. No, please no. Don't tell me aftershock gets this with the bulldog. Isolates himself. Yeah. Okay. Good. Oh, I was concerned there for a minute. Ah. <laughs> The heart was racing just with Bart sitting there <laughs> on the orb, just like totally unaware. Oh man. Well, Bart really cleaning up egos here. I have to say, he's uh, doing, doing his job. Handles, but uh, some of it is definitely from pistol rounds. Getting better support, I feel like, as well, this game. Yeah, I mean, CW's been doing a really good job of playing off of each other on this map. Not that they were, again, not that Maybe this is the map they should have chose. Oh, yeah. long. They're still, I mean, it's what, 8 6? Yeah. That's not quite the lead I would have wanted going into. Well, we didn't have a lead on the last map either. No, that's true. That is true. Bart's not going to be taking the pressure this round. I feel like this map we've been had a more of an impact. Yeah, it looks like uh, Endless will have a chance to have that impact next as he's facing after shotgun. Yeah, oh, and he's going to stun him. That's the difference maker. He only gets one there. Oh. oh, awkward little spray. Takes Viper down. That was so unknown. close. Oh, Jawbreaker gonna Jaw get, get one. one. So two v three. Bart gonna push up here. Just stick in the molly. Oh, he crept past. Do they know? They don't know. They didn't know. down B. Oh, that's so wonderful. Two v two. And he's gonna stall once again with the grenade. Spike planted. Page shells chipping nope down to some health. Oh, I didn't even uh, see that. There was a. Oh. No Moso kind of did the same thing. He got a 3k. Wow. That was fast. <laughs> I didn't even notice that. I blinked and I missed it. That's yeah, a problem. Valorant, you blink one second, everyone's dead. Yep. Uh, wow. Big clutch for now. Uh, impressive. Well played. I thought Bart had that for sure. After that little. I mean, he just like flicked and hit the body and with the bulldog and moved on with his day but i think bart's starting to realize he it's not possible to 1v9 every every fight <laughs> <laughs> well i think he's not 1v9ing anymore he might be 1v 1v3 every fight yeah on average but he's got a lot of support this game so that helps him yes. a lot no he's definitely not playing against his teammates anymore aftershock is in sewers we got to be careful just drop the patrols in there. Drop them in. Force them up. Blast pack? Something. Ooh, Jawbreaker taking out Mango on the Lurk in mid? Looks like that was a Lurk in mid, actually, which is very strange. Uh, Min gonna take out Bart, though. And Gumi gonna get spotted. Oh, 
here on mid. Uh, Sherlock, though, taking some pressure on... This guy has Spike for them, so... Yeah, it looks like Spike is coming over here towards A, and CW is expecting it. Sherlock gonna take all the pressure and be forced off by Bunny. Ah, and mid. Not blind. Oh. No. Aftershock for that, for that judge. Yeah. Well, Just hits different. Well, yeah, I mean, uh, I think we knew it hit different after last half, <laughs> but uh, I was He's making sure they remember. Yeah, I was hoping it would be weaker on attack. Apparently that is not, in fact, the case. So, have to see how this goes for CUW uh, as they dig into the next uh, couple of rounds. Again, more drums in the back, the song of our people. A gift. Uh, <laughs> Hope it's not too loud for you guys. Yeah, I think we're. I, I just watching the audio level. It looks like it's uh, tolerable, level, but it's definitely. Gumi oh, and Gnome both getting one. Yeah, about as disruptive as the controllers for Illni have been for CUW. That's not exactly what I wanted to see. That's time for Shadow Ghoul. Let's see what you can get up here. Yeah, Shadow Ghoul really uh, taking a lot of pressure as Aftershock just pushes in here. He's gonna leave space for Gnome. Shadow Ghoul gets one. He's got that another expensive gun, so. <laughs> we know he must be good. Yep. Spike planted. Shadow Ghoul planted. going to flash up heaven and Shaggy and Shadow Ghoul are gonna take that space. Um, looks like Shaggy will be the one to really clear through here. Smoke falls, he will get one onto Viper. But it's a 2v3. Again. Oh. It's a 2v2. It is a 2v2. All of a sudden. It's possible. And it looks like full health for most of the players here, so it should be a bad one. Oh, oh, no, once again. No, we got a 4k. Oh, uh, it's getting scary. Yeah, I mean, it looks like that is no playground there. The, the clutch final round against uh, multiple players. I run that pillar. Fam. That seems to be Ash what he to do prefers. So. Interesting scenario there. Looks like I'm getting a message from production. CW digging back into this map. Char already Charlie getting the first pick. Spike down mid. He knows how to use that sniper. Yeah, he's been a uh, main opper for CW for a long time. Min gonna get a trade back on to Shadow Ghoul, but uh... Sherlock also getting picked. Oh, oh. phew. That Dangerous is scary. For Holy. Now the pressure gonna come back over towards that B site. Looks like Endless will be able to receive all of the utility facing him. Uh, Aftershock's gonna find nothing and just waste that ultimate. Not really waste, I guess. It gets him it on the It cleared him out, yeah. But, uh, no real power on the defensive, or offensive oh. side. Bart's just gonna leave mail open. That could be a mistake. No, he's gonna come back, and he's gonna take out mid. Jawbreaker with one from the op. One enemy oh one my enemy. god. That was just, everyone, everyone and did their job. Play. Yeah. Fantastic. Uh, love to see Cheers, it. Cheers, mate. Don't <laughs> oh, yeah. We see that. Tossing the nade over the wall just for good measure. Make sure it's out of, out of your pocket. Not gonna explode. Yeah, he wants anywhere. to spend that money. Yep. Well, no, actually, that's a free ability. So you just that's true, throw yeah. it off the map. <laughs> get another one. You'll get another one whether you like it or not. Better use the one you have. UW going to dig into their usual defensive setups here. Bart playing it looks like for an aggressive A push here, but there will be no aggressive A push incoming. Instead, Ilni pushing up towards mid, going to be pressuring CW here. Aftershock on the judge as point man. Really taking up, I forget what team it is, but there was a team that ran just the raised judge only strat. I just remember that, like, 
It was a cypher one trick on controller who played judge, like it was judge only. Good old Desmond. <laughs> he was, yeah, he was a uh, beast. Maybe that's his inspiration. Could be. Uh, oh, the, oh, uh, yeah. That, uh, yep. We were not ready for that one. It looks like we are probably going to be losing this round. Well, Bart's still know. alive. There's still Bart and Jawbreaker. Also Two carries. Oh, you do not give him. Do not give him a sniper. Oh wait, oh, it's in his yeah, kit. The, <laughs> the ult is gonna one get one. Remaining. Bart gets three. That's a one v one. Jawbreaker left in a one v one. He gets it. I stand corrected. <laughs> wow. That was, Bart played really well, I think. Yeah, no, that was fantastic. Uh, I mean, obviously, having the ultimate in that situation really helps, but Jawbreaker able to clutch up at the end there, catching that one on the entryway with the off, though. Oh, man. That was good timing. Bart and Jaw really able to clutch up. Digging deep. And they will be going into this next round. Stronger That's than ever. a good spot. <laughs> Jawbreaker gonna hold mid with the operator here. Found his comfort with the sniper. Yeah, I mean, always has been. I just Get out of my way. haven't seen it in a while. There's knives. Oh, and he is spotted. Oh, he expected the double peek. Wasn't really able to counter it. Jawbreaker on a roll with that sniper now. Mango's gonna be pressuring up toward mid, but it doesn't look like it's gonna matter. Bart, Bart another. Same with Ghoul. Shadow Ghoul. And now there's just two players left. It's just Sky and Jet, but Jet has knives, so we have to be a little careful. And Gumi on the operator here, too, which makes things a little tricky for him, but also for the offense. The offense can't play really aggressively to counter these knives. Um, but the defense... Uh, the, One enemy remaining. Uh, the, well, yeah, that was interesting. I feel like you spray. kind of just ran it in. <laughs> yeah, I, I kind of froze there. I, I don't understand what the jet was doing. I don't know what Mingo was doing game. there. Uh, yeah, I don't know. It Here does. we got uh, 9 to 11 for CU CUW favored, 11 9. Yeah, and just getting rid of that uh, bulldog, and they're going to move on with their. Get on, move on with life. New gun. Yep. New gun, new me. Here. Looks like, as usual, CUW stepping up in the second map, able to take some rounds off. It is now a 11 9 map score. See, this is the bar we were looking CW. for. Yeah. Bart Stop and, fragging. And Drawbreaker's still st sticking with it. I mean, he is not fallen off by any means it's just Bart finally started playing uh, his game yeah he has control now I feel like last game is kind of trying to support his team this well, game as we say it I mean this game I feel like he's kind of taking more of a need to aggression as the yeah need. Bart was kind of running in with the Euro too it's just he had less utility to really set him up get a little spam off here from endless but nothing much gonna happen until the rest of CW can come back for a retake Oh, Jawbreaker. Op v. Judge. <gasps> That's not what you want to see. I mean, that fight isn't what I wanted to see in the first place, but... Ooh. Unfortunate from Jawbreaker. Shadow gonna try saving? Yeah, I would imagine at this point, he's gonna try to see if he can get some damage, maybe get some weapons out, and then he's just gonna save. There's no... There's no reason for him to really take that, is there? Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that's... Mm. That, that's good. I was gonna say, if Ilni, I, I, as much as I want CW to win, if Ilni just turned their backs on him and lost that round, that would make me genuinely sad for them. <laughs> that would, that, that's not how you want to go to round 12, so. Yeah. 10 11 right now. So CW still has a lead here. Yeah, I mean. What else do CW really have? Let's try. Um, Damn. Yeah. What else do we have? What else do we have? Looks like we've got some ultimates. We got uh Chamber True to Force. Yep. From the shadows from Omen, which isn't is not great. They don't have any ults on uh I don't think oh. they have any ults. They don't. Correct. Oh shaggy's getting shaggy. Holding it down. 
Jawbreaker sees Cover nothing going out. Shadow Bull is going to just kind of set things up. Yeah. Jaggy's going to take most of the pressure here, and then Bart is going to take the next. And oh, Endless, Endless getting one. one. Oh, Bart getting Bart another. Gets another. Oh, Bart getting traded. Bart does, in fact. 4v2. Yeah, that's a, that's a good good setup here. I, I like that. One enemy remaining. Oh, 4v1. Shaggy, Shaggy, Shaggy with enemies. another. That's two from Shaggy this round. Endless not going to catch any information, but he will be in a prime position to kind of... Blinded. Oh, yeah. That's... That, there the flash comes. I was wondering. Keep flashing and you'll find something, and eventually Blinded. he does, so... Endless right. will hold down this ramp, and hopefully... 30 seconds left. some more space. Board... Me. Oh, that is that is unlucky. That's just awkward timing. Does Gumi get Shaggy Sherlock here? CW playing very passive, kind of a CW understand where he is though. Yeah, I think at this point they have to know. Hear the spike tap. Not even gonna push off of that. This time it's gonna run up. Shaggy and Chagul. That was a very important round, because now it's 10 12. We're on we're on now it's text. Okay, like it. <laughs> I don't yes, think so. <laughs> hey, hey, you never know. Like, <laughs> Shadow Gold disconnects and stands there and blocks the spike so nobody else can get at it, unfortunately. And then, you know, something else happens. You know, you just have to, you gotta be cautious. Uh, you're, you're, uh, I can't, but. I mean, here, here we got big reaper ults on Shadow Ghoul. <laughs> big reaper teleport. Unfortunately, it looks like the, uh, the ultimate in Valorant is not quite as powerful as its shrouded counterpart in uh, Overwatch. So yeah, but you don't got that die, die, die ultimate. Yeah. <laughs> Instead, they'll just be not letting anyone get in their way and defending the Death site. Blossom, that's its name. Yes, that is correct. Viper's pit instead going down here onto. We have Viper ulti. That's well, we have. Oh, that, oh, that was the Viper ulti. Yeah. <laughs> This is our home now. This is where we live. We see nothing but green. Ooh, and that's a good pick on, falling, on men. Falling illy fighting. Or fighting illy? Fighting illy. That's what they are. <laughs> falling illy fighting. What am I saying? Okay. You're getting tired. On me and, uh, no. No, I'm just, I'm just dysfunctional. Uh, Aftershock. Pushing up with the ultimate onto Endless here. I would expect. No, okay, well. Who cares what I expect? Uh, Your expectations endless. are wrong. <laughs> Bart and Jawbreaker. Now that's the map. Up. That's it. That is a good map. Love to see it. 1-1 one, one map score here for CUW. And they will take over for the following map. Uh, we'll we're be gonna... taking a short break. And afterwards, we'll get back to our final map. Absolutely. We will see you shortly. <laughs>
Ladies and gentlemen, we are diving right back in to tonight's match of Valorant. CUW tied one to one with the Ilni, or Fighting Ilni Blue, and we will be diving into our next map of Split. Uh, uh, we're gonna have to remake map. the map because they forgot to change it. <laughs> so. Give yeah. us one second, there's some technical difficulties. Technical difficulties from the uh, side of the map starters, I don't know. Can we dodge? <laughs> <laughs> players, do players joking around uh, about their uh, being on their D rank and not being able to dodge, but uh, looks like they will be dodging this map and, excuse me, diving into the next. It is supposed to be Lotus. Which is why I was confused when it was still on split and they started. But hey, you know, we're here. We're uh, ready for whatever comes at us, and we'll be uh, diving right into the next map as soon as we see things come up. In the meantime, uh, just kind of recapping that last map, CW for excuse me playing on the opponent's map pick. I mean, did a lot better than I expected. They seemed a lot more comfortable. I think it also helped that Bart was on a raise versus the Yoru. The Yoru seemed like he was. Kind of getting things together, but all the pieces didn't click. And on a raise, it just was seemed easy for him. Right, yeah, his raise play gameplay is very confident, and, and that, I think, helped him on this map. Jawbreaker, obviously, on that chamber, getting some nasty little sniper shots, whether with the Tour de Force or with the Operator, um, picking people out of the air as we uh, dodge the split to agent selection uh, nudge coming through the angry voice in our ears. But... Hey, uh, don't worry, announcer. It's it's intentional. Um, there it is. <laughs> Jawbreaker's so excited to play uh, Split again that he accidentally picked it. Uh, but we'll go to Lotus. And everybody's good sports in the chat. Love to see it. Diving into Lotus here, we will be getting into the next map. Wow. Jawbreaker insta locks Killjoy. He is ready to play Sentinel. And that's that's something that we've seen from him. Uh, I think during activation we saw them play Lotus as one of the first maps, and we asked him about it afterwards, and he was telling us, and, and you can go back and uh, I forget if that VOD is up or not, but Jawbreaker was really excited to play kind of that sentinel position to dig in and, and support his team in a new way that he's never touched before. So happy to see him kind of excited to dive into that. Min's also Lotus. playing controller or something that's surprising considering they played Jet the last two rounds. Last two no, maps. Min was Min was Cipher and Viper. Um, oh really? I thought Mango. Min... Mango was. Oh Jet. Mango. Okay. Mango playing Sky now. Aftershock still on that raise. Looks like uh, Bart also on the raise. So mm. we'll see a raise mirror matchup. Got a fade by again. Endless. Yeah, Endless on the fade. Not really a surprise. I I've seen him play it before, but you know, I have to say, I the double initiator is a little bit of a surprise to me. Um, what I would have expected is a little bit more what Ilni is playing, is that double controller. But it looks like CUW's opted for a little bit more active power, which, admittedly, on the attacking side, I think works out for them. They're, they're aggressive omen plays, they've got the Killjoy just to cover flank, and raise Fade, Sky to really push their way into sites, get some information. Looks like a solid composition, so excited to see how that turns out for them. And I have to note, everyone's favorite caster, Shaggy Sherlock, in case you didn't know, he spends a lot of time with this game, uh, and that is <laughs> exemplified by something you will probably only see in this particular situation, uh, or or any other loading screen that he happens to be in. But uh, he's not his level. <laughs> Three hundred and thirty-two <laughs> levels of this game uh, in Valorant levels track the amount of time that you've spent on the game, approximately, and so for him to be level three thirty-two, even over our radiant player. Bart, who admittedly also is no slacker at this particular game. Uh, I would imagine some of the other guys would have higher levels, but they play uh, sometimes off Smurfs, of... Yeah. Well, not Smurfs. Certainly not Smurfs. Uh, I, don't <laughs> think, I don't think I've known these guys to Smurf regularly. Um, but they will play on alternate accounts when needed just to be able to make sure they can queue with the team. That's what I kind of mean by Smurfs. Well, yeah, but... It's smurfing. The smurfing has the negative connotation of doing it so that you can get a win over weaker players. Yes, uh, I think it means like I meant it in the context of like having a lower rated account, but like not purposely sure. doing it. Uh, an account that you spend less yeah. time and, and yeah. yeah, that's fair. <clears throat> Bart gonna be getting them into uh, <laughs> Bart gonna be getting them into C site here. 
hopefully, uh, breaking through, but facing the Killjoy, pretty standard AJ setup on the C, and we'll have to see how CW pairs. There. Well, right now we're looking at sort of an entrance. There's a KJ turret set in the back, so to protect flank by jaw. Right now, uh, Bart's pushing up. Bart, oh, Bart doesn't get the trade. Min gets two. Jaw, jaw trading back. So it's a three v three. Looking not bad. Oh, yeah. Gumi, Gumi gets another. Off screen, getting one. The three v two. Jaw got spiked though. Can they just get this trade? It's 2v2 now. Oh, Jaw? Let's go. Jaw's a really good round. Oh, yeah. Jaw and Shadow Ghoul, they're doing together very strong. They play that really well. Classic duo there, Jaw and Shadow Ghoul, really cleaning things up. <laughs> Love to see it. IGL, and uh, uh, if I remember correctly, they're the only two players from their year that are still on the team. Uh, they've been playing together for a long time, I remember. Is it all four years? Well, all three years so far. Four years would be uh, Endless, who is the mm, only senior yeah. on the team. Um, but technically four years because, as, as I was just mm. about to mention, uh, oh, I remember playing boy. with, I believe it was just Jawbreaker, and then eventually Shadow Ghoul jumped in as well uh, back my sophomore year when I was still, or the beginning, the end of my freshman year, going into my sophomore year, uh, when I was still kind of the only person on the team. So... <laughs> Good to see the, the progression there as they're still able to keep up with each other. And we get into this next round from CUW. Here it looks like CUW is playing a little slower this time. Waiting for angles and waiting for uh, enemy to mess up so he can get a free pick. But they're playing pretty preserved, so we're just going to wait a little bit to see who makes the first mistake. Bart has an aggressive push here. Min there is covering it though, so got to be careful. Looks like we're retreating back to spawn. Yeah, Jawbreaker taking this extra space here, just kind of tucking into that ruins area. Getting ready for something. Are we going to put a turret here? Yeah. Drop its turret so to protect them from flank. Ooh, Gumi's in a pretty good position here. A little, we got to be a little careful. Dog's coming out. Yeah, and the bot doesn't spot it. Before, so that could be problematic. But they're just going to skip left. it. Yep, there is one mid. Middle, whatever this side is. This is B. This is B side, yeah. B side. <laughs> Jawbreaker dropping the little nanobot onto the middle of B side so that any players back. trying to play in pit will not be able to. Like, no one's coming from this angle from Jaw. Bart's in a gunfight here. Let's see if he can get. Oh, Nade right on top of him. Oh, Gnome. Oh, Gnome and Min. We each get one. Jaw gets one back. Check. So that gets one. Oh, Jaw gets another. It's a 1v2. Oh, Jaw, this is one more. And he clutches it up. He clutches it up. He got a 4k. That's nice. big. That is huge. That is that is a major play from Jawbreaker right there. Facing the shorty, I thought he was done for. But no, he's going to just take four on the round with the rifle and uh, stare up at the sky. Probably uh, fist bumping his team up there. That's what whatever. he had to do. Like, Jaw, he's stepping up once again. Yeah. He understands his role. It's to just get in these gunfights, win it. He's 6-0 right now. That's exactly what we <laughs> like to see from Jaw. Let's see if he can keep it up. Yeah, CW getting into this next round going. It looks like a bit of a C look here, but the spike's left in mid, so we'll have to see where that ends up for him. I think they're just trying to get a free kill. And they're going to rotate back, I'm guessing, to spawn. Let's see what they do, though. I can't say uh, KJ's ever been a free kill over on this side. But, you know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> you never know. <laughs> the walls are looking thin, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Don't work is just uh, spamming everything in sight. No, nah, he's not really. He's got a lot more precision than that today. I wonder if they'll take out this little nano swarm on the corner. Hey, like, we can see it. They can't. It's just sitting there tantalizing. I'm just, tell just waiting to tell them to shoot at it. Shoot at it! No, 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 no. Wait, 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 no. Recalling my they don't box. know it's there. This guy has spike right now, so... Nade going in. It's a yeah, good push in, yeah. Get popped. Uh, they didn't break it. It's so sad. Oh, Min gets one on Endless. Yeah, Endless is really getting kind of caught out there. It's uh, awkward timing for him. Shut. 
Shaggy, Shaggy with the plant. Now everyone except Bart is going to fall off site. Oh, and Bart. Their face again. Yeah, it's that judge. He just knows how to use it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that retake was very strong. Yes. Everyone on CW just got wiped. It's very unfortunate. It looks like they're giving the, pan the plant to Mango. Or the defuse to Mango. Yeah, get that extra orb on the Sky Ultimate. I mean, that's useful information on this on this map, especially. With multiple, the, the not multiple dogs. <laughs> all the dogs. <laughs> Three dogs. Cabbages. <laughs> multiple cabbages. Yep. <laughs> that was a really strong retake. Let's see if C C CUW can push through this time and not allow that retake. Yeah, and. It was interesting too because with that retake they were putting a lot of pressure where they knew CW was going to be playing. I mean it's common for a team to kind of play back in that mound area and CW was there. Uh, oh, so Omen's, oh, not Omen, Odin spam coming through there on the wall. That's a little uh, concerning. Just filling an angle. <laughs> See if any team can get a pick here. Record checking up on top of the wall just in case anyone got there, you know, you would keep this shadow goal right next to it, but unless holding the flank. Well it looks like we're all rotating and once to spawn, we're going to another site. You didn't like that one. I wouldn't either. There's <laughs> none there. That's terrifying. <laughs> it's a lot of people they're like, oh let's go this one. There's only one. Yeah. And they the dogs. Yeah, well, they're gonna confirm They actually look like jellyfishes. <laughs> yeah. Give me little jellyfishes. Oh, and Jar there's lockdown. Are they gonna pop lockdown? Oh no, Bart, no. Bart's just gonna get kills. That's that's. All Bart that's doesn't need anything. He just needs a gun, and he's gonna win. What? Why does the bot pop there? That looks like. A oh, oh, Bart, Bart, just, Bart just knew where he was. Oh, Bart with another. Holds. That's three. Gonna get the ace. Does he get the ace? Tell me he gets the ace. I want to see the ace. Bart ace? No, he's looking the wrong way. That's that's. Sad. I think he's just playing a little safer because he knows he's low. Yeah, that's probably smart. But you know, I wanted to see the ace, man. And, One enemy no, remaining. No ace. Oh, we got 4K. That's still pretty good. <laughs> yeah, uh, endless with the cleanup, and Bart just gonna pick everything off. They're gonna leave the Odin's behind. Respect that. I, I mean, Odin on this map is kind of a cheat code sometimes, but you know, they leave it behind. Should be fine. Going into the next round, we have a 3-1 lead for CUW. We're getting close to our ultis, so we gotta be. We're gonna we can use them if we want to get a good push off. So, right now we got um, lockdown still, and we got um, big rocket launcher. <laughs> Let's see if Bart can get a kill with big rocket launcher, and Jaw can uh, push him out with lockdown. Yeah, I mean, honestly, uh, I think CUW's got the right plan here. They're gonna see if they can take that little. They just keep pushing. Do you know this is their weak point right now? Just keep abusing it. Well, and specifically, this is weak to the two ultimates they have. Jawbreaker's gonna get one. Bard's gonna take the space. Endless Shadow Ghoul. Everyone's gonna kind of take all the space. Well, then, it's yeah. 4v, 4v2. Let's see. CW can get another win. Are we gonna get a plant down? Um, yep, Shadow Ghoul plants it right now. That's the 40 seconds. We start counting. <laughs> yeah. It's gotta hold it for that long. It's not a terribly long time either. I mean, it feels. Absolutely endless. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, it feels absolutely <laughs> endless when you're Endless is like, let's see. Oh, One endless has an idea oh, where he is. Flash. Oh, Bart got another kill. Yeah, Flash gonna come in to really counter everything. It looks like it's a save from by Mango. Yeah, I wonder if CUW pushes here, because I think their money, yeah, it's not quite good enough where I would say, yeah, no, absolutely push. It's, it's more of a, well, you could push, and they're not going to, so. You just want to make sure. Yeah. Take their guns and run. Let Mango have whatever he's gonna hold on to. And uh, oh nope, never mind. Bart's going hunting. Bart's not. Gonna... He was going hunting in the wrong way because he was actually the one getting hunted the whole long. <laughs> <laughs> Mango had that angle all Sky down. Hunter. Yep. Picking things up in the end. The Australian hunter. Yeah. Aussie. <laughs> let's, oh, yeah. let's see. It's still four one lead by CW. They're they are more attack based. And they're getting a good lead, which is what we want, like to see from Absolutely. our team ourselves. So 
Let's see if they can continue this. They still have, they still have lockdown. They didn't use it last time, so see yeah. if they're gonna use it. Interestingly enough, it looks like they're gonna take that towards the A side, which I would not have expected to see. They've got the lockdown. I would think a B push, a, a, a C push. No, they're gonna move over towards A. Turrets destroyed. And already the flank coming out so heavily from Ilni here. Looks like Shadow Ghoul's gonna call that that means there must be only two, and he's gonna be absolutely right. Jawbreaker gonna stay to hold the flank. And everybody being a little dangerous around the smoke, but that's gonna be picked. Jawbreaker gets one on the flank. It's yeah. still a 4v, 4v2, so yeah. let's see if we can clutch it once again. Bart, he's got a gun, he's got a goal. It's not gonna work. That's okay. He's gonna spam again. Oh. Any of those landed, they're all at head level. Oh, Bart. You know where they are. He's getting tag damage. <laughs> He's reading this so well. We might wonder just. Oh, Gnome. Oh, no. Gnome, he got a two. That's kind of scary. It's a 2v2 right now. He's going to push through this. Shadow Go. Oh. oh. We lost that. Gnome had a really good round. He got a 4k. Yeah, no, I'm really cleaning up on CW there. No. That was... That should have been a CW round. I'm sorry, boys. It was you a 4v2. Oh, holy. No, I'm just... That was a 5v2, actually, right? Yeah. Yep. Yeah, it was at some point. Oh, boy. It's <laughs> okay, though, still. Oh, yeah. It's I mean, bad it's for our econ a little bit, but... Yeah, but I think we still... As far as I can tell, we still have a buy. For the next day. it's not a comfortable buy this round but we should have a buy this next round so yeah it'll be okay we got this right yes sir bart leading the charge into c diving in Maybe the lockdown here i think they should be using this ult soon otherwise they're just wasting ult orbs each round <laughs> true very true no you were looking for a perfect angle but Unless it has to pop it sooner or later. Oh, there's a kill. Jaw getting a p kill on Aftershock. I see it. Oh, we get another one? Oh, Endless, Endless gets one on Min. Bart not even there in time. This is, a three, this, is, this is what we like to see. I wonder if they're going to pop lockdown here. I don't think it'll be needed, but after last round, it might just be a good just in case. Yeah, Gumi, Gumi got one. Here. Oh, but he's out. He's out. No more of a problem. He's no longer a problem for Cedar. No, I'm trying to channel his inner Bart there. And <laughs> It did smoke. not work. Jaw, Jaw canceled him out. Not quite as well as uh, Bart had. It's so only Sky <laughs> left. You get a general idea. Jaw has a general idea where Sky is. Calling that out to the team, and they're going to be prepared on this angle. And there we go. It's just another 3k for Jaw. That's what we like to see. And he is. Still he is 11 and 2. Holy. Jaw is really putting his team on the back this. this this wow. map, like, he's doing everything right, except using this ulti, that sometime probably gonna get used. <laughs> yeah, uh, hopefully. I mean, honestly, if he doesn't have rounds, to, like, right. it was just that unfortunate that other round where they got, it was a 5v2 and they still ended up losing. I wonder if using the ulti there would have been the right move, but uh, it's, it's, it's hard to it's determine, hard to determine yeah. Yeah. Because you think a 5v2 is generally pretty easy when you're attacking. Well, this default once again coming over towards C, and this time no kill over there. Change. Let's see if they can abuse it once again, or it's just gonna end of a back. Oh, aftershock on the rotate. There's. Is this lockdown? We're using lockdown. And that ulti might. It's back to the drawing board. Is that nine ultimate orbs gone to a single raise nade? That just doesn't seem fair to me. That doesn't seem fair. <laughs> it felt really bad, especially with smoked off. Otherwise, they would have been able to get the pick on the race. Yeah. I, you know, I, I understand that the lockdown some people felt was too powerful, but I feel like combining that less common and easier to break nerf was just... It's just very hard to get value out of it nowadays. Yeah. yeah. Nowadays, Killjoy, you got that turret. That's what you got. Yep. <laughs> you got an extra buddy for you. Extra couple of bots. Helps you out. And the nanoswarms, admittedly. Yeah. Bart with a kill on Min. Let's see. Oh, Bart with another. Ooh, Aftershock Rush. Uh, Gumi got one, though. I'll trade it back on Jaw. 
So it's a 4v2. They're kind of low on uh, CUW. Let's see if uh, we can clutch it up. Oh, there's the sky heal. It helps him out a bit. Yeah, topping everyone off. That's Shadow Glow has a really good angle here. Let's see if he can get a, a kill. Oh, oh Bart, anyway. Bart clutches up. Bart, that's the aggression we like to see. That's the aggression we like to see. Another 4k by Bart. Yeah. It's Bart and Jawbreaker. If one doesn't carry, the other does. Next round. I mean, honestly, I, I, it doesn't seem like 4Ks are anything special for Bart anymore. I, I just This is the, what, third Bart 4K in the past two games? I'm just... I, I, I'm just used to it at this point. Well, it's still, he's still popping off. We gotta get used to it. No, I know. No, that's true. I guess I have to, but goodness me, my dude. That's, uh... I feel like Jawbreaker is the consistency, and Bart is that that 4K, 5 that ace. He got it all. He's got the fire, yeah. <laughs> oh, they're aggression. They're, they have aggression this round against oh, UW, and then they got punished. Him in. They got punished Never really hard. It sounds 5v3. Oh, there's the jellyfishes sent out. They're going to tell everyone that, well, the enemy is not here. Sherlock's planning. They're getting a general idea. Oh. Bart also has that big rocket launcher. Whenever he's ready. This is a 5v3, though. I mean, you have to imagine Ilni's got to be considering it. FaZe has that ulti. Yeah, the Nightfall is present. Yeah. Helps him out a little bit. A lot. Oh, and this Min getting one. Oh. And oh, no. I think you might have cursed. Yeah. All right. Well, it's a 3v3. They didn't decide... To save so time running out. Sherlock's gonna good get one by one. Sherlock. Oh, he's missed. Last player one enemy remaining. Graham. Graham. No, Shadow Ghoul, you could have gotten that. It's so sad. Not like this. He just had to swap a second earlier to the, the shorty, and he would have gotten that kill. <sighs> it's just a little bit of delay. That's ah, no. Here. It's that hesitation. I, I don't remember if he had any bullets in that phantom or not. Uh, he, he, was, he was reloading. He started the reload and then he swapped. I feel like if he swapped instantly, he could have gotten it. Or reloaded instantly. Yeah. Either way. We'll see if we're going to use a uh, big teleport. <laughs> From the shadows. From or, the shadows. Uh, Endless. Sent out, really taking the fight here. He sent out uh, a different type of dog. <laughs> A more aggressive dog. <laughs> well, more aggressive if it finds you. Yeah. Only if it finds you. It doesn't deal damage either though, like Skies does. Or does Skies anymore? Did Sky give up dealing damage? I think it's a, I think it's just a a flash. A stun. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Come on, we're playing a little slower beast. this round. This is the first one that round that's not been chaotic. Oh, never mind. Bart says something to say against that. <laughs> As you mention it, <laughs> chaos. Right yep. back into it. Well, we didn't get the kill, so we're playing safe. Oh, Aftershock getting the kill, though. Shadow go trading off one for one, though, so it's not that bad. Yeah, silencing the ultimate there from Ray's. That's a 4v4, and power play is done for. Let's see if we're going to be using any ultis here. That is big teleport coming out. Do they know that there's a player right there in Waterfall waiting to peek out? Doesn't look like it. It's fine, it's a one for one trade. It's all good. Spike is down, but they have plenty of time, so. And Bart getting that plan in. So is that rocket launcher. If he pops it now, there are two free kills in Waterfall. Oh, they're letting out the dogs, though. Jellyfish. Whatever they are. Oh, oh Bart with this tag from. Bart knows where he is. He's spot. just waiting. Oh, but Oof. Gumi had the, f the read. He had the aim. Let's see. Can Shadow go clutch it up? One enemy he yes, does he clutch can. it up. He got a 4K. That's a Shadow Ghouls pop off. We haven't seen that many yet from him. Yeah, but I mean, if this... you want to talk consistency, Shadow Ghouls been in. I mean, constantly calling, giving good consistent plays, and now able to have a little pop off round of his own. So happy to see that. That is uh, that is good to see. I have to say. Digging in now towards the... 7-3. Yeah. This is what we like to see. We haven't seen a blow, uh, blowout like this the whole time we've been playing. Is this really a blowout? 
I mean, it's valid. It's better than, like, I don't think we've seen a 4 0 lead. Like, a 4, ma four round uh, lead. Four round lead. So no, that's true. Like, that I would consider true. that a blowout. Like, Ooh. in this. Aftershock, looking for some picks here. But it's gonna be aggressive. See, oh, it's yeah, two no. for one. That's just. It's pretty good. Dominant. It's a three for one. Not bad. We did lose Bart, which is questionable, because he's, he's the man. Yeah, but you know what? Sometimes you, you, you gotta let it go. You trade him for three. I think, uh, <laughs> I think that's a fair trade. Yeah, at an immortal level, I think. Let's see. Gumi's kind of in a good spot here. Let's see if he can get anything yeah, going off. Yeah, he's only really in a good spot if they push around that corner, though. You know, like. No, they're playing really passive, which is smart. Yeah. Except this Shaggy, who is just like, I don't, I don't care. <laughs> I'm living in this tent area. This is my home. <laughs> I am a snail. I live in the tunnels. I send out my tiger as you walk through the funnel. He's lurking. Boom is lurking. Yeah, and no. Shaggy finds him out. That's really good. And that's another. It's an 8 3 lead. Yeah, that is fantastic to see. Last round before the switch. We are more attacking focus, so let's. We gotta wonder how we're gonna do on defense, but even still, this lead is huge. Yeah, and I mean, the only thing that's really not defensively focused here is the lack of that second controller. So, if we're able to use the, the initiator utility for a stall effectively, I think I think CW's got a decent chance. I mean, Falcons aren't necessarily going to do poorly by any means on defense. It just, it's a little bit more questionable, you know? It, Bart can't do this every round, then, on defense. Well... <laughs> that's, he could try. I mean, you can if see. He's, if he's getting three every round, I don't think anybody's going to... Oh, Shadow finds Shadow. him out. Good pick on Gnome. Let's see if what we translate this into. It looks like we're pushed onto our favorite site. We're gonna use Fade Ulti. That means we just put tattoos on the walls. That's all it does. <laughs> yep. it, just, it just tattoos the walls. That, that's all. It doesn't just tell you where it is or anything. Oh, Mango with that Odin. He just got a spray kill on Shadow. Now it's a 3v3. It's a yeah, tough situation. Oh, Endless on. found him though. It's, yeah. And it's back to a 3v2. It's the only problem is Endless is a little low. Getting that heal though. And he trades it. This is Endless's round. It's his 3k for him. I have to say that was a really questionable decision on the flank there by only uh, the sky pushing up with the uh, Odin. Uh, you know, I get it. Uh, you want to trap people in, but once you have them trapped in that corner, you have to keep them there. And losing that pick right away, you know, Endless... Admittedly waking up and being really left. really playing well, but but losing that pick there means that CW now had this free a site and I mean really is aftershock gonna be able to play in with this. Okay. He could he, really could. he, he hasn't been doing pretty It doesn't have that much on his Mac though only 23 the 20 not even he just wanted to shoot one <laughs> He wanted to prove you wrong specifically. That was all he wanted to do. Yeah, he heard you from three and he shot another <laughs> Heard you from three minutes in the future and wanted you to be wrong. Oh, oh now he's flashed though. Gonna play aggressive on that. He's peak. in a bit of a. Yeah, there's Sherlock. He gets that pick. Nine three, nine three half. That is what we like to see. Ooh. Nine three half though, but is it nine three curse? That is true. That you is the, that to, is a curse. You have to ask yourself. I mean, as you were saying, maybe we just think of it as three nine, and then there is no curse. That's right. The, the, <laughs> nine, three, the, the three nine is not a curse. <laughs> three nine is fine. Totally fine. <laughs> uh, but no, I mean, you you do have to look at CW with a slightly weaker defensive side here and wonder like, are they going to be able to stand up? Admittedly, you also have to look at Ilni with kind of the same question on the opposite side and say, well, are you going to be able to hold up with? Admittedly, fewer initiators, less ability to really push on attack. Mm -hmm. It's really going to come down to which teams train this map better. And if I'm being honest, I love the way CW played this map during activation. So, I have to see how it goes. I feel like so far this game, they've been playing it great. Like, they've been having that aggression. Now they're just going to see how reserved can they be with aggression. And if they use it at right times. Jawbreaker here, going to hold the back of sight and hope for the best. I'm not sure they're aware of exactly how many players are out here. It looks like he's AFK. <laughs> yeah, good killjoy players sometimes look like that. <laughs> Maybe he is AFK. <laughs> he's getting that water. <laughs> Josh, if you're if you're oh no, okay. Josh, if you're AFK, just wiggle your head up and down. 
Oh, Bart, getting a kill on men. That's what anyway. I like to see. With I like to joke that the players can hear me because. Well, well then, if they nod your head, then that that's you're psychic. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's what I'm hoping for. And also, given that we're an entire floor away and it's physically impossible, if they nod their head, I start to question. You know, oh, dodge trade is still one for one. Not the worst thing in the world. So four v three for CUW. Let's see if we can use our numbers advantage for this retake. Uh, Shadow got that reload while when you're getting shot at, and Gnome hits a 3k. Wow, Gnome. Well, now this... he's given... Okay, he's given Bart a sheriff. Bart is not taking the sheriff. Bart says, I like my ghost, and I'm going to keep it. Well, Bart got a 3k in the end, but it wasn't close enough. That's... Unfortunate. Rough. Yeah. Well, well played by Mango. Uh, you know. Mango and uh, Gnome are... Ma Gnome, this guy, I feel like he's a bit of a, he's a, bit of a Bart. You know, <laughs> I think, yeah, it's interesting now because He's I would have said Aftershock was that star player for them, but it seems like his pop-off round was on split, and he's not, like, doing well yeah. anymore. Like, I, I don't know what happened. Aftershock just fell off. So I feel like Gnome is, like, a more reserved Bart. Bart has more of that aggression in him, that demon. Oh, yeah. Bart, <laughs> Bart has all the demons. As we say that, I mean, you want to talk about aggression. There you go, Bart is... He's on this mound? Oh, and he gets a kill with the nid. He wants he to have us make a sandcastle up there. <laughs> yeah. He has made the sand The king of the rock. Man's sand mound is his castle. Oh. He is going to lose the sand. But it's unlucky. And Mango. We were talking about him a little bit. He got a 3k just now. Yeah, you know. Okay, it's against pistols, but still, you have to respect it. Wondering if we can get a few more kills here to lower the econ. Yeah, you would hope Endless is going to get something on this flank. Maybe some information that, you know, we'll be able to play off of with Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker has a classic, though. Uh, you know, he's what's just, the likelihood? He's just saving. Well? Just saving a classic. Yeah. Men with that Bulldog is a little stronger than a classic, so. Just like, yeah, that's just what we like to call Wallet Gap. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Bit of a currency diff there. Yeah. Let's see. If, let's see if we can come back from this uh, two-round deficit after the, the half. Two-round deficit. I mean, it's a two-round loss. We're down yeah. six rounds. We've lost two rounds in a row, and we're still up four. So that's true, but like you know, it's that curse you're talking about. Yeah, you know. <laughs> you brought it up. Maybe it's coming into fruition now. All right. No, the three-nine <laughs> curse is in fact. It's no longer because it's five-nine. That's right. It's ended. <laughs> it's over. I'm calling it here. Here we're looking into their attack. It's one against again. The favorite site by both teams. The rock. <laughs> rock site. <laughs> <laughs> Mound site. Yep. Run towards C. Looks like we're getting another orb closer to lockdown. We need three more for that. By yeah. for men. Lockdown's very strong. Unless you just get naded like it did for lockdown Jawbreaker. Lockdown is no longer very strong. Lockdown is weak. It takes a lot of orbs and it breaks easily. Which is very unfortunate. I don't. Oh, I think he just. Oh, I thought he just saw him. Yeah, I don't know. I, I feel like Jawbreaker knows there's some towards C here, but uh, Bart has spotted some towards B as well. So we'll have to see where CUW ends up rotating at this point. See how they're playing their defense. Very patient. Looks like they're four man pushing. There's one. Oh no. gets two. This guy uh, this guy is a problem. Bart's gonna catch off Min here though. Oh and he's gonna get away. Oh he didn't get that kill. So two v three. Is this a save for CW? It doesn't look like it as Sherlock is pushing in. Gnome is low. It's important to remember. Yeah, I mean, low and actually being taken out is usually different. Last player standing. One no, enemy oh. remaining. But now it will be a 1v1, so everyone's favorite caster is going to Oh, wow. that's our favorite caster right Lunch. there. That's our boy. That he, he's getting rid of that curse. That's the win right there. Yep. Would you like to see? That's the, that's the little comeback we needed for CW.
Now it's only three more rounds. Yeah. It's getting really close. And he, he flashes the... <laughs> he, he gets the seasoning in there. He wants to get in the mix. That is a, that is a well-seasoned uh, <laughs> clutch there for Shaggy Sherlock. Gotta, you love to see it. So. 510 currently. Trading weapons and spawn. And we, got, we got the big rocket launcher again for Bart. Let's see if he can get anything with it. Yeah, but such an awkward buy around it. I mean, they're clearly buying for next. But look at that. A shorty, a stinger, a marshal, a sheriff. It does versus rifle. a lot of rifles on the other side. Yeah. Uh, well, we'll have to see if Jawbreaker hits a crispy little shot here. He's known for his marshal play at times. Won't quite get it. They'll take the, the dog. tiger out. <laughs> And he'll get flashed off the angle. Deals a little bit of chip damage onto their rays, but uh, nothing, be nothing too mean. Oh, Shadow Ghoul's gonna spot the lurk here. You should uh, run. There's that killjoy ulti. And Bart get the nade on. Oh, he gets the spam kill, and he gets out. That's what we like to see by Bart. Only and one, de detained only one though. detained. Yeah, I mean that's a that's a bait detained. Make them wonder where Joy is. Clearly, that was intentional. Bart looking at him, wondering <laughs> whether it was intentional, but you know. I'll see. Bart are we going to use this rocket launcher? Yeah, no, it looks like he's preparing for a little suicide push here behind the, the Sky Dog. Uh, and he used that rocket out. launcher for, and he got the elevation. Yep. And now he's going to have a rifle. Which and what you do, and what you do, gotta remember is cool guys don't look at explosions. Oh, of course not. <laughs> oh, That's Bart. Oh. Oh no. That's Gumi. Let's Shadow see Shadow with a stinger. So one enemy remaining. Gets one. Damage. They're both going to die to bomb. Oh. Hey, Gumi gets the kill. Gumi Ooh. got a 4k. It's a little rough, but at least the they messed up with their econ. Like they got rid of all the rifles, so. Gumi got a 5k because Gumi played the spike. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, gotta love the little ending scenes there. If we get, if, hmm, wasn't the worst of rounds for us, though. At least we killed them all. They no, all I died. mean, we, we were really very much trying to build a little bit of an economic advantage, and you can see, I mean, it hasn't quite paid off, but it's made sure that even though we've lost this round, we're still able to buy mostly. The only problem is we're not, clo we're, we're not too close to any of our ultis right now. We need a few more orbs for each one, so let's going to see how we do without them. Yeah, I mean, we're two away on the two initiators and yeah. Omen, actually, but and not the most powerful ultimates for the defensive half. Is it back to mount? Oh, they're not. Yeah, and actually, they, it looks like they were just playing for that orb there. They're going to leave a lurk, but CW is going to read that. And they're going to move away. <laughs> Shaggy Sherlock on the. Uh, Shoulder duty. Gonna hear some noise behind him and realize he's probably got space up towards B. He's playing. He's gonna push. Yep. He's feeling himself. He knows he can win these fights. He's been doing pretty good. Well, I mean, uh, the Spectre at close range. I mean, that's a My that is a favorable ready. fight at that point. Yeah. And that looks like the Rune King skin he got, which is like from League of Legends, that Viego champion. It's all about him. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's a, it's about a... I, I forget if that was from the champion or if it was from... Uh, I think it was the release of one of the Rune King champions. Arcane? I don't think so. Oh, okay. I would be surprised. Arcane didn't have anything to do with Rune King. No, I know, but Valorant had a bunch of Arcane content. I don't know League, so... <laughs> I understand. I play that game too much. I don't play enough Valorant, so... Well... Now the spike's down, and uh, it looks like the boys are going to be trying to retake, so... Let's see how this retakes goes, and there's this big gas thing. Viper's pit. Yep. Oh, we have an idea. Oh, forced him out. Aggressively. We got Gnome, though. It's... Oh, it's a 2v4. That's the only problem. Well, they've traded lives for the Viper's pit. It was worth it. And that's going to come down to a 2v3. Last player Ooh. standing. Let's see what Kinjaw can do. Oh. Not quite enough. Well, it was close though, but yeah, and then Killjoy was apparently still lurking around behind them, so that could yeah. have been very uncomfortable for CW had they stayed alive. They didn't, but um, you know, it didn't look like they were going too much longer anyway. CW now gonna. Oh, Bart's going Chuck. Oh no, Bart! 
No, buddy. <laughs> that is the most unfortunate keybind. Used one of his. But he, one of his jumps, one of his free jumps into the enemy. That's a blast. That's what that's <laughs> called. Uh... Free jetpacks. <laughs> free jetpacks. Big boom and free jetpack. Oh, that's. Oh! Trade at least, but. Trades with the Bucky. It's that still is... a 2v, 2v4 right now, so we gotta be careful. By Jaw. Yeah. Jawbreaker just gonna fall off, which, wise move there, I respect that. Uh, and he's now going to be in a perfect position to fight this. Oh, not quite. Mango had that angle. Shaggy really nervous about the lurk here, but there will be none forthcoming. Ilni is just holding the site, waiting for him, daring him to come push. And it looks like he is going to do exactly that. He's got a ghost. What's he got to lose? Nothing. And that's exactly what he is, in fact, <laughs> going to lose. We're going to go into round 19 here. Still an even game, but, well. Losing a timeout by Shadow Glow, which makes sense, because they're starting to get... Their momentum is starting to get lost, so they want to stop the enemy's momentum quickly, so. Yeah, I mean, you look at the last few rounds here. I mean, you look at this half in general. Uh, it's been rough. Yeah. No, we, they do only need three more rounds. Mm -hmm. But. The enemy has gone a lot. They've gone. Yeah. Yeah, five they've gone in five in a row, yeah. Basically. With one in the middle, yeah. but basically five in a row. Five for one in this half. One in five. Yeah. That's not exactly what you want to see. I mean, it, it calls back kind of to the pattern yeah. we saw with uh, CUW, except that CUW only won two before the enemy got one, and Ilni has won three. So CUW really, I think, needs to take the thing with CUW here is we have four ultis. Let's see if we can have like, some good use with these, and hopefully we get a win on this round and save some for future rounds. Yeah, I think I think they've got a, a decent a real chance. Real T except the big rocket launcher, but Bart will get it soon enough with his kills. <laughs> Bart's just going to get two right off the rip. I'm sure of it. <laughs> We're into our 19th round. We'll see what's going to happen. Yeah, you have to you have to wonder. What's what's CW feeling at this moment? I mean, they are a map three team. We've known that. They know that. But at the same time, going into a map three like this, you want to have that confidence on that second half. You want to be winning. And right now, my momentum's starting happen. to get lost. Yeah. Yeah. That was a good pause by Shadow Ghoul, though. I think we're starting oh, yeah. to lose everything. See if it helped him out with some new strategies. Oh, Min's just gonna creep up here up against that wall. And the timing. They won't see him cross, and it looks like Endless will be the first one to just get his head taken off. That yeah, is That's very unfortunate. Yeah. Oh Bart will get Bart, one. he gets the trade back though. There. And we'll drop the nade in. And tank Lumi down to very low health. So that's that's good. It's a 4v4 with one injured player. Oh, Aftershock. Aftershock had that angle. He knew what Bart wanted to do. Didn't let him. The Jawbreaker considering the play with the kill draw ultimate here, but uh, lockdown. Actually, they are going to place it up on this top corner. Hopefully, it looks like they're hoping to clear out sight. And Jaw will spot one. Did he spot the other? Close left here. No. Gumi's gonna get cleared by Jawbreaker, but I don't think he'll have time. Yeah, they're gonna run up on him, and that will be the round. It's rough. Ooh. It's only one round difference now. Gnome still died to bomb, though, so at least just, that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, that's some economic damage made it in. Um, but that's a pistol round now. So, effectively, here's what I'm looking at, right? For CW, they've got... Almost a guaranteed tie at this point. Because yeah. I, I don't find it likely that they're going to win this basically Sheriff Eco. Uh, they've got a couple of stingers, which they've done well with. They've got a Guardian, Bulldog. Find the weak point. Make up your mind, Ja. <laughs> Alright, Bulldog it is. Uh, but, you know. Pop the flashes, and it looks like it's going to be some aggression towards this mid side. Alright, Bard already getting picked, but Shadow Ghoul answers back, so it's not the worst. And see, I'm right. gonna catch one out. Oh, that is some aggression. They have rifles now. So we like now. to see. Four v three. Ghoul is hurt though. Oh, Jaw oh, with Jaw another. Get one. Four v two. Let's see if Jaw can do anything else. 
Oh, there is one lurker, though. Yeah, I mean, there's one lurked through in the back of their uh, sight. And it looks like Shaggy Sherlock and Jar are going to hold a high low. One enemy remaining. And that aggression is going to pay off for their side. Ooh, know where Noam is, and they got him, though. That's... Well played by well played by Noam. I will say that was a wonderful little shot there to take out Jawbreaker, but traded by him. So won the round. That's all that matters. Now it's only two we need. Yeah. I mean, I said I didn't expect them to win, and they, they just went and did it, so... <laughs> Uh, I guess I should expect him to lose more often. Uh, You're the problem. <laughs> I'm just the problem. All right, I'm done. I'm that is our timeout. It's so good. We got another minute of pause time. Well, Aftershock deciding that uh, Shadow Ghoul's pause was more effective for his team, but uh, now he's going to give one to them. So hopefully another round coming out for CW after that. I jest, but uh, yeah. I mean, just watching what Ilni have been doing, it looks like their strategy is fairly set in its ways what do you think aftershock's saying here is he gonna get him to try to change it up or is it just kind of i think after in? can you press tab i want to wonder what ulties they have yeah. so um right now they have only big teleport so <laughs> they don't have that many ulties so i think they just got to play smart and have a good attack on one side and use this um teleport to get an advantage on a pick and i think they're just kind of wondering like how they're going to execute it with their flashes and smokes yeah i'm a little concerned about that i think uh a little scary how where he's going to teleport to and what right. angle. That, that, that just gets a little bit awkward. But then Shadow Glow has it on return, so he could do the right. same thing. He could uh, he could have the classic omen double flank going on. <laughs> who knows? Both uh, teams was wondering what's going on. Yeah. We'll have to see how that turns out in the meantime. Getting into this next round. Oh, Endless getting picked already. That's not what I like to see by men. See if we can so we can get a trade back. Jawbreaker, I think having some visual problems here after the pause. Oh, well, the second he looks away, he gets that in that angle. Wonder how the CW is gonna play this here. I mean, pay, playing very passively for this B push, it looks like it'll be. And then execute good enough to do. Aftershock's gonna be right up in Shadow Blue's face, but Shadow Blue will not let him have any of that space. Bart really pushing Aftershock. Gumi out. getting the plan already, and that's the, that's the lockdown. Bart getting one. Oh, but Mango trades it back. He gets two. Jobber now it's a 2v4. Oh, this is awkward. 2v4 retake. I mean, you've got the sky, but you've got the killjoy too, which is not exactly I think the you kind of just play to get a few kills and call it a day. Hey, it looks like CW is playing to win. Oh. And they will not, in fact, win. It's back to 10 11. One round difference once again. Yeah, uh, you know, rounds go different ways. It's okay. Got the rocket again, though. Yeah. <laughs> and we got tattoos. <laughs> nightfall. <laughs> Not wall tattoos, nightfall. <laughs> so yeah. it, 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 it makes the walls have tattoos, though. Well, uh, technically, yes, it does. But, uh... Nightfall, yeah. We have nightfall via endless. Don't See if we can get some use out of these ultis. Otherwise, I think it'll be a little rough. We're getting close to lockdown as well by Jaw. He just needs two more orbs. Yeah, no, you're right. That could be a powerful tool in Jaw's hands, too, just to stop a push completely. I mean, imagine him just tucking it in Waterfall there and stalling them out of the entryway of Sea Stall Stalling for uh, 20 seconds, pretty much. Yep. That's a lot of time. There. Well, it goes fast. Yeah. Over in one second. <laughs> or less. Often milliseconds. Frame diff. It's <laughs> <laughs> one of the reasons I both love and hate this game sometimes. I mostly love. I see. That is a... Invisible Omen. Yeah, they're gonna take the opportunity to gather some information with that, and I think that's gonna be about all. No real sight change, but look at this. Look Man, at this. Man has a flank. He is lurking. Let's see if he can get any value out of this. Oh, Shadow, Shadow Ghoul with an early pick on Aftershock. That helps them a lot in this round. 
do they know that Min could be this deep? Are they even? No, Shadow Ghoul dies here. Part with another though. It's. Spike down A. Oh, the timing. Oh, it's fine. Jawbreaker trades it back. Yeah. One for one. It's a... Oh, three v two. Mango gets one. Let's see, can we pick off Mango? Here they. I've got your trail. Stall that run through. Take them out. Oh. Just Mango. Yep. No, that, that it's not it's only one round is all we need. That's it. All right. And endless, endless got that nightfall. So let's see. Can you put the nightfall to good use? We got any other teas? We got We're big rocket. The We've got the <laughs> rocket launcher. We've got the nightfall. On the other this side, there, there's also a teleport, but and we're they're one off uh, gas. <laughs> Viper spin. Now, I, I Viper will spin. Say, yeah. I will say here the other thing that's really awkward about this is. Whichever team wins this round is likely to basically end the game. So, or end the, the regular time. Yeah. So, for example, should Ilni win this round, there. they're going to send it to overtime. Because the other team is not going to have enough to buy, as far as I can tell. So, we'll have to see how that goes. In the meantime, CUW just kind of hanging out here, waiting for a little bit of a push. Bart respecting Min's little aggression. And they both fall away. There. Let's see what's right now we're just playing a little safe. Let's see if we can get a pick or see which team gets a first pick. We still have our ultis. That's the first plant by Mango. Getting an early plant in. Spike Let's see what we got going on here for both sides. Oh, and the flank comes It looks in. like we're about to use this Nightfall ulti thingy. Yeah. Apparently wall tattoos isn't a good name. <laughs> oh, it's a one for one trade. Well, not Shaggy. quite, because there is still one on the flank, and that, that man has not been traded yet. Uh, Bart's gonna, well, just play around this area. Oh, Bart didn't realize Gumi was there. It's really rough. Uh, whew. The Jawbreaker on four health is just gonna get spammed. It's really rough. Oh dear. Alright, well this gets sketchy now because I don't think CW can buy. No, they can probably scrabble something together. They got decent. They got enough. I... Not for a full buy. Mm, yeah. Definitely not for a full buy. Looks like they're mid buying. <laughs> yes. No, they're gonna buy everything they can, but. Jawbreaker does have his lockdown, so should they. I also go to a think we have the rocket launcher still, right? Uh, I know we used it so, that yeah, last round. Used it. Okay, we only have lockdown. Let's see how yes. useful we can use it on waterfall here. Well, I don't know if it'll get used on waterfall unless the push goes there, but Shadow Ghoul getting pushed up into the stinger position. That's awkward for any team. And totally abandoning C site, which is a strange move, I think, but might pay off for them, actually. This aggression is what they needed. Shadow Ghoul is just. My boss. Understands. He just knows he's got a bigger brain than the rest of the game combined. Yep. See who gets the first pick once again. There's Dog coming out. Oh, no, it's on to you. Nope. Endless will dodge the trailblazer there. And now, maybe. Boom, oh, oh. Timing could have been on the hotel. Oh, they know where he is. Oh, Bart got picked by men. Yeah, that's that's just a good lurk once again for Min. It's showing his skill in lurks. Oh, he gets picked though by Jaw. Aware that Jaw is there, and they're gonna flush him out with nades. And yeah, no, that's it's rough. Thirty seconds left. You can do there. Spike planted. I hope you get lucky. And, get and now all the ultimates getting popped. See what the they're plan is here away. for the retake. Flash gonna go off, but Aftershock gonna take one out with the judge once again. Aftershock really knows how to use this judge. We're not respecting it. And that's that's OT. It started. Well, as I said, the team that wins the next round is probably gonna take it to the end of the game. But uh, now we got overtime, which, admittedly, uh, CW's got a really good chance here in overtime. We, we know they're able to win attack side rounds. Maybe this is all they wanted all along. 
They wanted yeah. to spice us up for content. <laughs> Send it to overtime. Just yep. for the casters. Let's go. <laughs> you know, it wouldn't surprise me. Uh, Josh just saying, yeah, you know what? <laughs> Time to throw a little bit. Uh, it hasn't gone to overtime yet. We'll just let them have most of defense, and then uh, we'll take it to overtime. Mm -hmm. So here we are. CW setting up once again on their attack side. Looks very similar to what they were going to do on pistol round of the last half. We'll have to see if Ilni remembers back that far, but this is, I think, exactly the same play. There is. Getting a big sense of deja vu right now. Satchel out. Look at that. Mark clears out the utility with his blast pack. He walks up. Knows the seat. Yeah, he just knows where it all is. He's just smarter. He's just waiting out the util. We're down a lot of util now, so let's see if we can make it. They can give us an advantage for CW. Oh, yeah, that's what? 1200 credits worth of utility? That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Oh! Mango yeah, had the read on Bart. It's rough. Aftershock, Aftershock getting picked, though. A Shadow Ghoul, so it's still a 4 for 4, so. Yeah, I mean, and, and Aftershot going down there, I think, is a major win for CW. The Trailblazers are struggling to get past each other, but uh, it's like CW will just be able to take this in. Oh, they might have seen him. I think they did, but they're going to flash him. And... Wow. It's like, that's what I mean, Valorant's over in one second. <laughs> well, now it's a 2v1. Oh, they know where he is. That's really important. Yeah. Where Mango is. And it looks like he will get caught by the Prowler and blinded. That is... I mean, that's got to be done. Alright, yeah. 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 Shadow Gold for Sleep Now in match point for CW, just need one more win. Well, as we said, we know they can win attack halves. Now they just need to get lucky on the, on the defense side. The only is not really... Well, they've got, they've got holes um, in their attack, and CW's learned they can exploit them. Looks like they'll be setting up for a standard little uh, season aid play, and Ilni might just send someone into it too, which is, I mean, that'll be really fortunate if they get a kill off there, but. Some red ball with some black goo. <laughs> That's a season. Oh, and somebody's gonna be right there, but he's gonna teleport across. Bart gonna so get the pick. Bart gonna bait oh, for Shaggy. Two. That is two. Is it a third? Oh, then Mango's right there. We know where Mango is. Let's get the kill. Do we know where Maggie is? We got the kill. Do we know? Yes, we know. And that's going to be... It's a 4v1. Four down. The spike is here. I mean, you got to hope. You just play for, for Spike sake. at this point. You got to hope for Ilni's sake that Numb's able to clutch this out. Because otherwise, they are done. This is this it's could true. be it for CW. CW, you just got to play for Spike. That's all you got to do. Oh, and the Prowler's going to catch him. Not quite. Okay. Another Prowler coming out. <laughs> They're going to know where he is both times. There it is. have both mollies. He's got his orb. No fuel. Really throw things down to confuse the enemy. Orb and walk out with the shorty. Off. Nope. He's waiting for that smoke. Yeah. And there's no orb. They know where he is, and that will be all. CUW you. winning in overtime. Well, they wanted us for content, and they performed. Well, it was a two one in the end of the day. Was it a loss into double win? That was the reverse sweep by CUW. Yeah, that was a fantastic overtime. Will I mean? Yeah, I think you have to agree. That's exactly what we wanted to see from CUW this game. Um, Bart stepping up, twenty eight kills. Jawbreaker stepping up, twenty five kills. Uh, the rest of the team really holding solid support there, uh, able to keep up up in the teens of kills. He only played really well, but Aftershock just got shut down this map, and I think that was probably one of the difference makers for CUW. I didn't think he really had much of a performance this one or the last map before. Yeah. It was only that first map where he was able to pop off, and he started to die down like a fire. Yeah. They shut him down. They poured water on him, and he couldn't do anything else. And not even, he didn't even need the harbor to pour water on him. That's, uh... <laughs> 
<laughs> a little bit of an unfortunate scenario there for Ilni. They lose their first match, but CUW Falcons win GG to Ilni, and the Falcons will be going on to the rest of the season with a win under their belts with a sub at the roster. So mm -hmm. uh, you have to wonder, I mean, if this is what their sub play is like, uh, the rest of the division probably needs to watch out because, my goodness, Shaggy Sherlock played really well. He had a uh, good game. Yeah. Our highlight tonight, though, will probably be Jawbreaker. Uh, presuming we'll be able to get him down here. Uh, production crew will let us know uh, who the interview is going to be. But uh, for now, we will uh, send it over to a break. Actually, I've just been informed. We will be having an interview with Luke Shadow Ghoul Bigalk from the IGL side of things. So we'll be able to discuss with him his team's performance in tonight's game. We'll send it to a break here, and we'll have him down shortly. See you guys See shortly. You
Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the CUW cast of tonight's stream from Valorant. I'm joined tonight by the captain and IGL of the Valorant team, Shadow Ghoul, Luke. Welcome to the stream. Thank you. Good to have you on for your first appearance on the stream tonight. Uh, I have to say, I underestimated Drawbreaker a little bit, so <laughs> I just wanted to hear what you have to say for how each of your players performed tonight. Well, I mean, everyone just came out, they did their roles. I think everyone played really well. Uh, people stepped up when they needed to step up, and it's just when we played together, we won rounds, and we just played off each other and our uh, Utah really well. Yeah, I really enjoyed the way you guys played as a team tonight. I know you had some, you had a sub stepping in. You guys were really coordinated anyway. As you were calling, you made some really great decisions. I remember one where you just kind of shifted the whole team to counter a push that I didn't even. Really, I wasn't even really sure what was happening at the time. So tell me a little bit, how's your calling process been this season? What's it What's it looking like for you? Uh, I think it's been going pretty good so far. A lot of it just kind of goes based on like how the other team plays. Sure. The other team played really slow on attack, so we had to really formulate off that. They rotated quick on defense, so we kind of tried to play slow, and usually we like to play really fast. So just kind of getting a feel for how the other team played, then going off that. Yeah. Going into that third map, I know you guys got up a lot of rounds, and then that last section, that last half, uh, I mean, it kind of they kind of turned it around on you. How was the mental? I know you guys took a timeout. What changed to send you through to overtime? I think our mental is good throughout. We were still picking each other up. We're talking through, coming up with plans. But, I mean, I think we just need to get more aggressive is what it comes down to. Like, sure. when we started to fight, take all our fights, instead of letting them come into us, we just started winning rounds by a lot. So... Definitely something we need to look forward to going into Lotus specifically and game plan around that more so. Now I have to ask, uh, obviously you went to map 3 this time. Is CUW going to be a map 3 team again? I hope not. I hope we're not a reverse <laughs> sweep team. Those, okay. Those are long matches. No, that's true. Well, all right. Good to, good to talk to you. I know you guys went to overtime. You've had a long night, so I'll let you go to bed. But uh, I appreciate you stopping by, and we look forward to seeing more great things from you and the team this season. Thank you. Thank you guys very much for joining us tonight. We will see you next week for Valorant. And if you want to see Overwatch, I believe we have a stream of that uh, coming up the, in the rest of this week. So stay tuned to our social media channels for that. In the meantime, have a wonderful night and thanks for joining us.